Okay, welcome to Unclicked. Uh, what the hell happened in BMX the month of July? We are joined here by Albert Mercado, Bethany Hedrick, yep. and <laughs> Zelensky. Uh, so Dennis, uh, we, we kind of held off. We wanted to, the Olympics to finish up. It felt really weird doing like a monthly news thing with the Olympics happening and we were like, oh yeah, don't have that. So uh, Dennis had a conflict today, but um, we are here, month of July, obviously biggest thing would be Olympics. Albert yep. and I tried to watch it this morning, but the replay for finals is not live yet. And then oh. I assume you guys did not wake up at four in the morning to watch it. Absolutely not. <laughs> <laughs> I tried. <laughs> there you go. Um, so well, let's see if we can actually watch some of it. But um, we'll start with the women's first. So just some highlights. Um, so yeah, uh, qualifying. I think the biggest thing was that that Charlotte didn't make the finals, mm -hmm. which is which is pretty crazy. Um, but the I don't know. I think the the placings kind of speak for themselves. I won't. I mean, I guess people know at this point, but Natalia gets third, Paris second, and Deng. Yeah, when? Yeah, okay. yeah. yeah, it was Aquarius yeah. too. I think. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but there's the rest of the lineup. Yeah. <clears throat> so the qualifying obviously runs uh, was 12, 12 in qualifying goes to nine, and then the format in qualifying was the two runs average score between yeah. the two runs. So. Um, you know, there's like Charlotte, who I think kind of kept it a little bit chill, and then um, whoever else didn't make it, who else was not in there? I think Nikita was one Nikita, of them. Nikita, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. I yeah. feel like Nikita is always so capable of winning the entire thing. Yeah, she so rips. That flip turned down, she posted it at, at, uh, at what's his name? Uh, Kenneth. Kenneth's part yeah, the dude, other, the other week. Insane. I was like, yes. Yeah. So. I can't imagine the pressure going into this event. Like, oh, yeah. yeah. I've been working up to this for X amount of years. Here I am. It's yeah. all happening yeah. right now. And, like, I could, you just have to have such strong character to not just, like, implode under that pressure. Yeah. 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 Whew. The yellow bike is sick. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Dude. That, looks, yeah. Mm, that <laughs> looks super cool. I like the yellow. I was kind of surprised because not the rest of the team, the whole other team didn't have that camo thing going on. So I was wondering, because usually it's like across the board, like uniforms and Hannah's, yeah. Hannah's stood out with that, like kind of the digital camo thing. On the helmet? Yeah. The, well, I think it carries No, the jerseys, jerseys are the same, but her helmet's a little different. Oh, I think she got right. it painted. So so was the step up, was that an X-Up tail whip? And then the box jump was a Superman whip? I think yeah. so. The yellow bike pops really well against the lavender ramps. I mean, <laughs> if, they're on, if someone was on an oil slick bike, it would look like they're just moving their body around with the bike. <laughs> so, and oh, then, oh, shit. Yeah. Damn. But, so close. Yeah. Obviously, I think she just sent it, but she didn't yeah. have the speed for it. The fact yeah. she sent it, like, in the last half of her run, she yeah. had to be gassed. Oh, that's what I was about to say, too. She yeah. looked like she might have been tired. Yeah. yeah. Understandably it, so. It's like, hard to, like, really, like... Like, if you're sending a big trick at the end of your run, that's pretty, like, intense. Yeah. So it's a make or break. Yeah, I always feel like if you say, like, almost just do it at the beginning, <laughs> yeah. it's, like, better to get it out of, out of, the, out yeah. of the gate, you know? Yeah. Because you but. think, too, like, I just did all this great stuff. I don't want to blow it now. Yeah. Yeah. Do I stay mm -hmm. safe or do I roll the dice? She had other big tricks in there. To, uh, she probably just tried to squeeze it in. And it yeah. was the first run, too. So yeah. she knew she had the second run. So And then, obviously, I don't know if they... Did they show it? I think they do. They show that she she ends up just kind of bobbling on her second run and yeah. Yeah, foot down as a wrap. So. No, nobody's going as high as Paris. No. Yeah. Boosted. There was a, a one-handed table I saw for her on Instagram today from Table Lords from this, and it, it was just like, I think it's at the end of this run. Nice. Yeah. It, it was just like money, you know? Yeah. The course is so big. Like, when you do that overhead angle, you're like... It's like massive. three times the size of a regular World Cup course. Is it? It's. It yeah. looks insane. Like... I already get sometimes lost in like those courses. Yeah, and then, you got like, a Jeff. Yeah. That's the one. It's like, 
Yeah. There's so much stuff. That's to a big hit. footprint for sure. It's crazy because I don't think like I got delivered some like X Games post of her second second place run weeks ago, like literally like four days ago, and there was all these comments just confused about why she did so well because she was like didn't didn't do a bunch of tail whips and bar spins. Yeah. And then it's I hope it's like transferring for like the average person here, you yeah. know, like to appreciate how much faster and higher she's going, but mm-hmm. it doesn't have a backflip in it. No pun yeah. intended, transferring. transferring. Double whip. <laughs> the white kit is crazy. <laughs> <laughs> I think she has an all tie bike or something. I think she has a tie frame because I went on Instagram this morning and it was like Mike Laird posted. Like, oh, really? Yeah. I can stoked. see that. Yeah. That's so, yeah. Yeah. so <laughs> Double whips are chilling for her. Bar bar X. Dude, she's mm-hmm. wicked with the bars. Yeah, it's good. She's going high. She's carrying her speed all the way through. Yeah, yeah. It's definitely crazy how much. It, but like her run versus Paris's run, there's been what, blank spots. Like connecting the dots isn't really the same, you know. Yeah. Like, obviously, the tricks, double whips, and the flip, flip no hander, and oh, stuff skirt. like that. So yeah. And then there's so. the 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 topic of like style. Not to say yeah. she's not stylish, but Paris is like everything she does like oozes style. So yeah. It's like, yeah. Yeah. I can't imagine how how they go about judging that kind of stuff. Yeah. Like style points versus technical difficulty points. Um, so on these on these replays, it's a I think it's Connor Fields announcing. But then oh, yeah. I watched the replay yesterday, and then the live today is a different announcer. Okay. And, it's, and it was insane. Like, like the, did he fluke it again? He did better today. He stopped saying tuck knee no hander. Tuck but knee hander yeah. except look back. She just back. changed the name to tuck yeah. knee. Yeah, so she, she followed yeah. up Damn, right away. Really so. uh, you can see how crushed she is, too. Yeah, yeah. yeah. devastating moments. Just but. so much training, so much time. Yeah. But yeah, so the, the commenting was it's just insane it's insane at that level that they don't have like yeah. you know because they had the the girl on the, they had the dude that was blowing it mm-hmm. and then they had the girl on the side that was kind of just chiming in randomly yeah. and it was like it was like they should just have like resources of like hey look out for opposite tail whips and Logan Martin's run or Gustavo his bars are backwards yeah. and, and like there's so many things that were just missing and missing and missing well, we spoke about this in Way Down, and I was thinking that possibly, because, like, for every, uh, however many events there are in the Olympics, like, if you had, like, specific announcers for each one who knows what they're talking about, yeah. that's, like, what, 30 more people have, they have to, like, yeah. employ yeah. and get involved. Yeah. And yeah. It might just come down to, like, But we, even, we, like, if that dude, you know. even if that dude is, like, he's the guy, he's carrying, he's like, oh, he's no oh, double tail whip, whatever, and he's doing that, and then the, the girl on the side has, like, bullet points. Mm. Oh, like, yeah, Gustavo, he's got this family back in Brazil, and, and yeah, blah, so blah, blah, like, a long road. You know, you can have all those bullet points, and then, like, at the 15 seconds, as soon as he turns his bars backwards, it's like, oh, and here right. it changes the angle of the bike. Like, literally, it could just be written down. You just read it. Yeah, you know? yeah. true. Like, like Logan fair. Martin, like, like, oh, he kicks to the he kicks to the left, but watch for the opposite circle tail whip that he does and stuff like that. Like, there's so many because I did that role at X Games. Like those storylines, it's it's just bullet pointed out for those mm-hmm. for the announcers because it's like it was Kramer and then and then it's the other guy. It doesn't ride BMX, but they yeah. Can, these are professionals and they can read this thing without sounding like they're reading yeah you know like yeah. it's pretty easy like it just seems like a huge miss yeah like, on, on on that apparently skateboarding thing. had that problem last year they did oh, last yeah in like the, co- the commentating was really yeah. bad because so. i heard this year it was great in comparison really? and then yeah. we had the opposite because we had doyle last time yeah and then and then this year we got i think brad yeah. I think his name was. That's you said that Doyle was last year. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, and then I'm, I I asked Doyle, I was like, did you, like, try? You know, like, why why weren't you there? And he's like, yeah, I hit up all the same people. And it's like, crickets. So. Dang. Dang. But yeah, it's probably something like that where it's like they have general announcers. And, yeah. and it's weird that, like, the replays are Connor and then or the highlight cuts are Connor and then the other ones are this other dude and stuff like that so yeah. the F no so, and I saw like Ryan Williams is announcing in Australia yeah oh stuff really like that like oh. so oh wow a lot of announcers well, yeah, yeah. yeah like I think just like you want I think when it's playing in Australia they want 
like an, an Australian, Australian voice. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Makes sense, but um I yeah, I wanna imagine. I wanna hear that. Oh like yeah. the, just like the logistical back end production hurdles oh, this yeah, whole yeah. event must take like well even like on the skate side because there's so many skaters <clears throat> in each competition and bmx it's only 12 and then it goes to nine and it's in in tokyo it was nine it was only nine riders in each one which is oh, insane yeah. was so it like, a actually, covid probably oh no but i think it's so in all of cycling you know like the category is cycling so you have mountain biking you have uh road race time trials sprint team sprint whatever like in all of cycling there's a cap on the amount of athletes oh, yeah. and bmx is under that umbrella so in order to get more bmx athletes in there you got to remove some from team yeah. sprint or right. something like that okay. so that's why the the number is lower so uh and that's same i mean whenever we were doing those like live stream things there was always like why isn't street in there yeah. and it's like kind of the same thing and then also it's like it's olympics too so it needs the women's street category so like something like there needs to be that like i think the word is like parody like yeah it needs to there needs to be a women's street competition and and it's just it's not like bmx isn't doesn't have street events for women to yeah. like even compete in so mm -hmm. it's just that has to grow first for there, there to be street on this true level. so I think that I think that's the answer. It that makes that. sense. Yeah. Totally, so, is a give and take, and um, so moving to men's. Do you know who won already? Uh, Jose. Jose. Yeah. Jose. Yeah. 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 Okay. Um, that was cool. I, you know, when I look at the, the lineup, I, I have my, you know, I was like, oh, I'll probably be at like Anthony, John, John, Logan, like. Marcos and I was like, "Oh, was they won?" Yeah, I like, yeah. Like, yeah. Like, <laughs> I was tripping when I woke up this because I came in like halfway through finals when it was playing. I don't even think it was live because it was already post like an hour previous, but it was playing live, quote unquote. Yeah, he goes yeah. so high. He does. It's he rides insane. with a lot of power. Yeah, he's scary during practice. Yeah. He just he's well, like I an think animal out there. I think it was Jeffrey, the guy from Canada. I saw a clip, and he was yeah. like, it was like a flip double whip over the box, and he like looped out, and then he came in hauling, and no, they collapsed. It was Kieran. It was Kieran? It was on all black, yeah. Oh, coming so they, in, Coming shit. in like Darth Vader and just Dude. slamming into him. It was brutal. I'll, I'll, play, like, I'll play that after. Well, let's play it now. I think I have to. <laughs> I think we have to yeah, now. I think I have to now. Uh, that was I'll have insane. I'll to air myself. Because I filmed it on my... <laughs> I filmed it on the TV. I was like, what the fuck? Uh, no, I'm in the wrong. I thought it was Jose because I saw him in a black jersey, and then I saw photos of Kieran in a black jersey, so I'm like, it has to be the two. But I wouldn't have expected Kieran I, to run into I think it. Jeff. I think it was. I mean, I could be wrong, but... The bike was white. I remember the bike being white, but then both of their bikes were white from afar. I don't know. Dude, it was insane. Cause like Jeffrey just like, oh, dude, those practices are so chaotic. <laughs> oh, <laughs> <damn. laughs> it could be. You could be right. Is is Jose oh. is Jose in all black too? But then there's a that looks painful. no. That's definitely he's hurt. Look, that's yeah. Jose. Yeah, you're right. It is. Oh my god, that looks like it hurt. That makes more sense that Jose would hit him like <laughs> watch the video again and look how chaotic the practice is. Yeah, like it's. Every time there's like, it's just like, well, like John John oh. was like barely missed it. He like, he's like, oh, sorry, motherfuckers, oh. I'm out. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> sucks for you. <laughs> Good luck. I think you're right because there is a little bit of blue on the on the bike. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, someone brutal. confirmed. That's so that flop that I didn't see that coming at all. Yeah, yeah, I was yeah. sitting on the couch yesterday, just like it was just a locked off shot, and I was like. Holy no way! Shit, they caught that. So, Damn. Um, but yeah, and then uh, I guess on that thing, like that, uh, I don't know if you guys saw Jeffrey Whaley's post. Like he had shoulder surgery six weeks ago. Oh so shit! So he literally like rehabbed like crazy, got out there, rode the event, and then had wow. that crash like right before the contest. And you could see he was like wincing, grabbing uh -huh. his shoulder. Oh, that sucks. Bodies. 
So uh, shout out to him. But, yeah. I mean, he didn't he didn't make into finals, but like, I mean, fuck, those are crazy circumstances yeah. to get out there, and and he sent it and did mm-hmm. his thing. First so. time Canada was in the Olympic uh, yeah. BMX in the Olympics yeah. or freestyle. So, so that's sick. Uh, we uh, we. I think we blew it when we did like this is be going to the Olympics because I knew he had shoulder surgery. I didn't think he would. I thought he was out, so I did like Maxine yeah. Chala for, and then that was wrong. So oh, <laughs> but oh. that's my bad. So, um, but yeah, shout out to Jeffrey Whaley for for and you know he should be proud for everything he did and getting fucking slammed into right before him. So yeah. Um, sorry, this this border thing sticks with you for a while border thing this on the bottom of the frame yeah <clears throat> i flared down whip he did a couple airs ago it was yeah just beautiful and so this is like the third run into the finals too he was like the third person to drop and then he gets ooh, so ooh. that sit down Landry. so um the the rules with the event is that if you are touching the ramp and the buzzer goes, mm-hmm. then it, it doesn't count. No, is I thought it was if you're still in the air in the buzzer. Not there. Yeah, so it's like doesn't count. if you if you do a whatever flare quadruple rip whip or something like that and you are coming you land and you're coming down and your back tire is on the metal plate and the buzzer rings and it doesn't count. Well you have oh. to pass the metal plate you entirely. Have to, you have to be on the flat bottom. On the flat bottom. Wow. Yeah. So just aim flat. <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah. You only got four seconds left. Yeah, better, Good luck, bro. We're shit. doing it. Better flare whip the flat. So, like that one, the his run, it didn't it didn't count. You can actually Albert and I were looking at it earlier. We were trying to like put up the volume. And yeah, the 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 buzzer goes That's like insane. literally as he lands. Because I thought usually, like, for the World Cups, is if your yeah. tires are on and the buzzer beeps, it counts. No, it's, it's off the ramp. Half the ramp? Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. That's good, though, because that. he, he bobbled his foot anyway. So. Yeah. 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 I mean, that's what, but <laughs> I think helped. from out, people outside looking in, like, that's probably kind of confusing. So mm-hmm. that officially, the, the flip double whip didn't count. So. Yeah. And I think. Another white kit. <laughs> the white pants go hard. Um, I think the uh, if you're watching on TV, the, the overhead length angles don't really show how high, much higher Jose is going than mm. everybody else. True. Like it just doesn't it doesn't do him justice. And John John roasts too. So, and then this is Jesus. Whoa, that was what crazy. The, oh, the fact that he skimmed and through they, with and 360 still, double whip. Wow. And he still just kept going. That was wild. Alley double flare. Yeah. Do it. Is that three? Yeah. I should practice trying to be an announcer. Anthony John John. Oh my god, Another keep it going. Whips. Two whips. Superman wedgie grab. <laughs> <laughs> Straight to an exo. <laughs> <laughs> Just miss call everything. He's really good at tug knees. Ooh, Ooh. nice look back. See, I feel like he was being safe. He would have done like a five flare that he yeah. probably wanted to do. It, w- it, it may have made a difference. I don't know, though. But a lot, look, lot more blank stuck. airs than, than Jose and all that. Yeah. So, France is hyped. Yeah. He's like a celebrity over there. Oh, dude. yeah. He's got to be. I look at all the little heads. What, are you saying French people got little heads? No, they were holding up little signs. <laughs> <laughs> little signs. <laughs> little signs. Oh, they had, uh, look at all their little French heads. No, they had little pa- little paper heads. Oh, how? Oh, that's your hood, right? No, I live in northern Kentucky, but oh. it's basically Ohio at this Aren't point. Aren't you, you from there? Yeah, I'm from a little town called Fort Mitchell, <laughs> Kentucky. Oh, okay. there, there, okay. There's okay. the accent. Yeah. Yeah. There please, we go. Please talk like that the rest of the podcast. <laughs> Don't get me started. <laughs> <laughs> and just talk like your aunt. <laughs> I mean, this is incredible. Like his run's incredible, and it was like fourth place. Yeah, yeah. It's, I mean, the level is nuts. And then I did happen to see. I didn't see Logan's first run, but I saw his second run, and it was like wild. And then he, and then he like landed a little low on a on a double flare on that like six foot quarter. And then tried to barrel roll bar the step down backwards and like nose cased and, and blew a foot off and then he called it. So yeah. 
would have been it looked like it was like on its way to a first place run you know so there's a there's a lot of flat bottom like it seems yeah. like some yeah. people are yeah. having trouble keeping their speed mm -hmm. yeah well it's uh, you you notice it when they they go from that like big wedge wall and they start cranking across the entire course to get to the step up again. yeah savagery yeah. Yeah. yeah absolutely wild i do not know how the judges do it but i think from what i've seen it looks like they did a pretty good job yeah you know but um i think that you know there's going to be people out that are upset about john john or something like that you know but that's the way it goes so definitely do not envy their situation yeah yeah john john bummed him on the on the a on third? the bronze yeah but i mean you know i you got to be bummed when it's like they want to win all the time yeah you know yeah. like they and he knows he's capable of winning so that's like probably because didn't he get first at both the qualifier series yeah yeah so it's like yeah you're and on a won, high. He won fees. He won. He won pretty much everything this mm -hmm. year. He's mm -hmm. had the most like dominant year since Logan. Like, yeah. The only person to dominate other than Logan. So uh, pretty crazy. So. That was my my guess was to, you know he'd be the you know top of the podium. For yeah. Sure. Yeah. So uh, congrats to all six of the medalists. And then there is BMX racing kicks off tomorrow qualifying runs. So who do you have for that? I don't know anyone competing. I same. Yeah. <laughs> I love them. Jeff, you're an expert jo here. Jo Reese. Yeah, I heard Jeff jo Reese. over here. Jo Daudet? Maybe. Is that a racing? I don't know. <laughs> so, I'm sorry. I'm showing my, my uh, racing ignorance right there. But I will watch it, and then I'll know. Yeah. So. yeah. Um, all right. What else we got in here for highlights? I think we got some not good news. Um, Billy Perry posted this. Um, I never caught the dude's last name, but Ivan. Oh, um, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. And then he uh, had, a, it looks like he had a huge presence in Billy's videos and stuff like that. So Yeah, and he was just always, like, posting good stuff, right, really good rider, seemed like a nice guy. Yeah. Seemed like Billy's homie. Yeah. So uh, condolences to the, that whole squad out there and all his friends and family. So yeah. um, pretty crazy. But... Um, and then this was pretty amazing. We don't need to watch the full documentary. This should probably be a, uh, um, what's it called? Full length. Yeah, full length. Oh, yeah. Uh, for no markup is what we're referring to. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we were just doing all that stuff. <laughs> um, so they, obviously, the, the short of it is that uh, Courage being from Nigeria coming in and uh coming back to his his homeland and 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 building something incredible for the for the passionate riders there you know yeah. i think i think corgi might have built yeah. the ramps or something yeah. yeah it's crazy and and fids oh yeah oh, yeah. Yeah. Nice. yeah that's awesome <laughs> it's crazy because this, this project is so i think i think <clears throat> it happened like last more than a year ago too so yeah. i don't know i i haven't had a chance to watch this whole thing so it's probably is there a follow-up at the end i believe so um pretty cool project to just see happen um so give that a watch one of the better one of the better uh pulls at the the old uh heart strings heart strings yeah for, yeah for this uh month um what do we got here um Oh, this is uh, Nidal's shoe release thing. Um, seemed like the way this rolled out was huge. Obviously, yeah. Nidal does such a good job at, at social media in general, but um, cool to have like a sought after, you know, sneaker head. Yeah. Like shoe release, bike air. Is bike a, is air. A, yeah, yeah, so sick too. So um, shout out to him. I think, I think the Nigel podcast is going to happen soon. In maybe a couple weeks potentially but I like the whole grandma part too with yeah that. yeah that was, is that in here that's yeah that's in there yeah that was a really uh, nice little detail bottom, bottom. Uh, honorable mentions honorable mentions yeah. yeah so yeah that's part of that um it was cute yeah, yeah it's so cool it all fits together really well <laughs> See the shoes she's wearing? Yeah. 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 <laughs> Amazing. The, the fence matches the color of yeah. the shoes. Oh, I didn't even notice that. Yeah. 
it tends to look the detail. same too. Did you see that? Yeah. In the fo- in the kids' photo, it was like the same fence. Yeah. Yeah. I love he had a bank to ledge that he was riding, doing crook stalls. That's yeah. awesome. Jeff lived out. That, that was his cover. Yeah. 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 They actually reached out to me asking to, to use the ride cover image. Oh. Um, but they, they obviously didn't use it. But yeah, legalities too. So, but I mean, that's I mean, that's an amazing piece. Yeah. Like a, super such cool. A, such a cool piece. Um, and so. Done really well. Done super well. Probably by Harrison too. Probably. Yeah. Uh, Harrison Boyce, ex, amazing rider. McNeil, graphic designer. Uh, Death, Death Grip. Grip. Death. Death. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, I am debating if I should do this now. I'll do it now. So we did a giveaway last... La- oh my God, that's way too Inception for me. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, a couple of giveaways. I think we had... I should go grab them. Sorry. Giveaways. Giveaways. BMX day bag. Win you a pair of pedals. Um, yeah, we'll give away, grab those two, yeah. Oh, wait, those aren't pedals, they're brakes. They're brakes. Damn. Dang. You Dang, old oh, man. Put those, put those on your wheel and go. <laughs> <laughs> squeak, squeak. <laughs> um, so we did uh, three giveaways last month. Just leave a comment, uh, and I figured I would just go ahead and do that right now i believe this is all comments yeah so wherever i stop tom burgundy wins a thing or the backpack he gets a bsd thing i'm gonna throw some extra stuff in there uh so if you see this do that uh g sport rims no nope. no nope. does he say anything you gotta say the the, the giveaway thing backpack well you know what and then i saw this from Powers, a backpack, Olympic qualifier backpack for the museum. So the Olympic backpack will go to them. It's my unopened Ooh. Olympic Shanghai qualifier backpack. <laughs> uh, un- un- unopened? I literally s- like, I, open? Op- I, I unzipped it and I looked and I was like, eh, eh. <laughs> I'm jaded. Was it, was it empty? No, I, oh, it's a, stuff in there. I know oh. it has an umbrella in it. Oh, okay. Yeah, but yep. it's like, needed. Yeah, stuff like that. Um, BSD then, and then Let's scroll through. We need somebody to give the brakes to. Where's somebody? Rare. Rare. Yeah. Alienation brakes go to Oliver7373. Seven, three, seven, three. Uh, CNC'd. Hey, they're, they're a member, right? They are. Are they a member? Ooh, shout Thank out you. to Oliver. And then um, I'll find two more to people. We'll do... Dionis G. Augustine for the BSD, another BSD book, and then let's see if I can find one more BSD. I'm just going to search BSD on the page. Book is cool. Four. It's quite a good time to do this. And then 10 is awesome. We'll do that one for another BSD book. And then I'll throw in extras for everybody and shout out to uh, Alienation for supporting us, BSD for supporting us, the Olympics for existing all that stuff and then we do have more giveaways for this month i think i'm gonna i think i'm gonna leave it to just the members so we have some some bmx day tote bags and then we'll have some bmx day shirts and then i'll find some odi grips and all that stuff um for the members but that'll be like a separate giveaway i'll do a post on that just uh keep it easy just as a give back for the members because i feel like in the last couple months i've been slacking on that so um, shout out to all the members of the channel that support what we do. They help pay and give Albert money. <laughs> and you. And, and me money. 
they don't give you guys money. I don't get money. Yeah, I'm sorry. They give yeah. Dennis money too, but oh, yeah. doesn't, he gets free money because he doesn't do he doesn't show <laughs> up. Yeah. Free, so, money. free money. Free no, money. Free money, everybody. <laughs> Money it's a good, it's a good uh, Patty Smith song. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, all right. Industry news. Keep it moving. Um, Hall of Fame tickets are on sale. Maybe it closed since I put this in here, but Friday, September twentieth. Um, I do not think I can go, but uh, if shout you want out to, go, to Jay Miron. Yeah. Shout out to Jay Miron. I do want to go just so I can s- say hi to Jay. <laughs> pretty, That's pretty, all. pretty damn awesome. <laughs> That's all I'm gonna say. Um, so Jeff Watson, early freestyle, Hugo Gonzalez, Jay Miron, and then on the race side, Bobby Woods, Mara Strombergs, uh, freestyling staff for industry, Kim Hayashi for women, track operator, Debbie Kelly. So, um, you know, a crazy thing. I don't. Maybe I said this on the last podcast, but Mara Strombergs. I heard that because he got a gold medal at told you about this did you oh tell me about yeah this? he like gets no. a salary yeah that's crazy yeah from lafia he's from lafia right lafia. see i know i was like denmark i couldn't yeah, remember what yeah, country yeah, like, yeah. Lafia, yeah. So, yeah and so but he got two gold medals i'm wondering does he get like double dang yeah, yeah. so he gets like a that, base say, yeah. a base government like south like social security i guess mm-hmm. for the rest of your life yeah like, that's, that's what's pretty up. sick yeah. so um that's always cool to like see that super cool so, remember when he won an aura cup yeah, I do. What did he show up with? Oh, I don't remember. Lots of oh, money. He showed up with two girls on the stage. Uh-huh. <laughs> he literally had a girl in both arms. Because <laughs> it was so freestyle. Like, yeah. the racer has always kind of, like, not been there seen. And he just showed up with two girls on his arm. And everybody's like, okay. They always do, they <laughs> always be dressed really nice, like, shiny shirts and yeah. stuff. Yeah. Like, What year <laughs> was it? It was a while. It was a long time ago. Vegas? Yeah, it was Vegas. Yeah, Vegas, yeah. Yeah, that's a get. I mean, I could look it up if we really cared. But, um, <laughs> but yeah, I mean, I thought it was pretty funny. Like, yeah. Because, you know, like, you're, it's a 500 drunk freestyle dude. Yeah. And he's like, well, what am I going to do? Like, wear my fancy shirt. And wear my two girlfriends. <laughs> <laughs> they didn't send you know, largely a sausage fest. So, yeah. you know, props for him. So. Um, pretty funny. Uh, E-Feast event. Where is the link? Uh, right here? Uh, yeah, here we go. I know. I think Dig posted a better one just <coughs> like yesterday. So let's find that because it actually has words so I don't have to talk. Come on. Mm, tough. Which one is it? <laughs> there, there it is. is. <laughs> BMX Street Riders as e Feast Wolverhampton is on. Taking part is simple. Shoot your video and then upload it on epeacewolves.com before August 7th. Three wild cards will be chosen to ride with the pros at Wolverhampton September 9th to the 15th. The first two wild card spots will be selected by Dig BMX and the Feast team. The last wild card spot will be selected by fans. So Ask everyone you know to vote for you until August 11th. There's a prize pot of 22,000 euros and tons of Dig BMX and Feast prizes to win. Find out more on eFeastWolves.com. We can't wait to see the next level ride that you put together as you join in on this epic. So, uh, does the job. That was summed it up exactly. quite perfectly. Yeah, it's yeah. such a cool <laughs> thing. Are you, you doing one, Bethany? Maybe. Maybe. Got a couple days left, I think. Oh yeah, that's the only thing is yeah. you got to do it like now. But um, we might have some outtake footage. I don't know. Maybe <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> we might. Uh, yeah. Then what? Well, I lost where I was. So Efi's event covered. Uh, this was kind of disheartening, but I feel like it uh, showed up. Ew, Ew sir. Oh, there's videos. Yeah. So I guess there was like a bunch, but look at the damage. Oh yeah. Ugh. That's and so I fun. and I guess they did it completely out of spite to because they weren't allowed to ride there, so they showed up at night and destroyed the jumps. Like, Wait, so they like dug? It? Oh, what? No, so this is them building it back. Okay, that's but, like, good. The, the, Sur- <laughs> like, the Suron dudes, like they just like, yo, fucking around and yeah, being they, assholes. Yeah, I yeah. mean they destroyed it. Like you yeah. could see they, they weren't riding it. Yeah, it wasn't to like it. they were like just riding it yeah. and you know all on the way messing it up. They just took like went there purposely 
Yeah. That's we got a spike. Yeah. Because yeah. I think they got told that, like, look, he does, like, a burnout on the top. Yeah. Like, that's, 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 it's, that's it's wild yeah. that they filmed themselves doing it. Oh, yeah. Because they're kids, you know? You so, to say yeah. it's the same thing about street riding. You just film yourself riding this rail, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. Well, but yeah. It's but it's but it's I, it's destruction is a byproduct yeah. sometimes. Yeah. 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 It's not the intention. Not, not yeah. compared, you know? Yeah. 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 You heard, fil- it, you heard film, it here the first. Film, Jeff hates street riding. The, fil- the filming part—it's it's crazy how much people film just film everything now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that's yeah. true. Um, a couple of kids brought the the to these. A couple of parents to these Saron kids brought their kids down to squash the beef between us and the help rebuild. So looks like something mostly positive came out of it. And then I think Mulligan had some more recent photos. I read somewhere in there. I think. Um, Hucker maybe knew some of the kids yeah. and like oh, yeah. he kind of like he might have been the bridge that squashed or you know helped mend everything. Yeah, yeah. 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 he initiated it, which is great. He's such a great. He's such such a solid dude. Yeah, yeah. In, the, in the back in the day or in in another scenario, it's like it would just be met with grabbing them by the throat. Yeah, yeah. you know, totally. like so it it's good that maybe something positive came out of it. Yeah, it's building cool. and all that stuff. But cool to see it resolved that way. Yeah. Um this definitely caught me off guard. The uh Team USA secret training facility. <coughs> Damn. In Utah? Yeah. I heard it was in Area fifty one. Oh. Really? That's what I heard, yeah. Area uh, 50 tail whips? Yeah. <laughs> 51 tail whips. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Gotta squeeze the last one in. So. so way less flat bottom than the Olympics course, right. though. Yeah. It is crazy, though, because that ramp kind of did exist in, in Shanghai that, that Marcus just flared. Mm-hmm. It looks so fun, too. Yeah. So, the whole video is three and a half minutes long, but um, pretty cool. They've had that since March, so it paid dividends in a lot of ways. Yeah. Yeah. Know, so. Um, is it is it staying there? I think yeah. It, I think so. I think yeah. there's going to be, like, an amateur event there. And, that's okay. That's correct. Thank you, Becky. Um, yeah, there is, like, a USA BMX event kicking off there but Bethany's gonna ride there one day maybe one day. <laughs> <laughs> um at this rate I'm sooner make, than later I'm making, <laughs> yeah. I'm just making an assumption she yeah. didn't say like I'm going next week but yeah yeah I'll add the uh I'm actually going right after this <laughs> <laughs> filling up the, the Tacoma and <laughs> yep. making Jeff drive you sorry Tanner we're really for dinner I'm driving right. Bethany to uh you to Utah <laughs> um Project Spoke is officially out um do we we did not have a link in there though is there no there's no site post or anything yeah i think they have a pretty well done instagram post um (coughs) yeah so the the digital project spoke dot com road dot com we'll get this all in here um there's 20 bucks i mean it's actually like negotiable it looks like so whatever whatever you want to put in there if you if you enjoyed it or you think you'll enjoy it mm. um dvds and shirts it's all on justin's site i think there is a more of a professional project spoke site which we should have our stuff together but there we go projects okay never mind projects <laughs> yeah, i think it's just goes to justin's site, site so yeah. <laughs> one in the same but uh six documentaries one riding film uh, I have seen all of them except for uh, the Justin Wilgus documentary and the Latin America one, and they are all great. Um, the the Big Daddy one and the uh, Behringer documentary are, are my favorites for, for obvious reasons, um, and uh, the writing video is great too, so uh, support a mono like a just monolithic massive project like this is insane so um and we do have this is going to drop and then next week we actually have a podcast with justin the uh the video creator documentary creator and then big daddy sat in too so nice it's a it's very yin and yang (laughs) 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 polar opposites um 
Uh, yeah, put that link in there. Uh, and then this one's not necessarily massive news for us because we're not going there, but this crazy spot that has produced many a wild oh. thing is gone. That that Whoa. was that was within. This is now Damn. pretty insane. Um, this was always like a spot that just that was kept dream, getting so insane. Dream going to yeah. Whew. No need to get towed in. <laughs> That's <laughs> insane. insane. I haven't seen that clip in a long time. So, pretty incredible. Um, sad to see it go the way it goes these days. But it's there's, one no of those more, there's no more water. Yeah. You don't need a reservoir anymore. Yeah. There's no more water. No more water. Yeah. It's probably going to become condos. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It was in California, yes, yeah. Yeah, sure. definitely be condos. Become a Whole Foods or something. I don't know. It would be a uh, Whole Foods and condos on top of it. Yeah. I think that was sponsor news. Yeah, it is sponsor news. Let me see if it's. Oh yeah, this. I think we may have talked about this, but uh, <clears throat> Billy and Jaren being on tour with uh, Camilla Cabello. I'm not gonna. Really? I'm too old to. Yeah. So. Yeah. Um. Yeah, they were on a multi-stop tour. Yeah. Damn. Just it's wild. Like, I'm not good. <laughs> Damn it. <we're> gonna... <laughs> but yeah, pretty crazy. So yeah, that's they, she literally, she's like, oh, what do you think? What up, Billy? What up, Jen? You know, like one of those <laughs> yeah. things. So pretty she insane. Wanted, she wanted BMX riders in the background. Yeah, yeah. she got them. Yeah. So cool. Um, and then Slack and Spots. Slack and Spots book. No so, link, but there they are. Well, we'll get that. So Jeff yes. does hey. quite a bit of work for in conjunction with more more silent or yeah, Slack. Most, mostly silent. Um, every I mean I I don't want to take too much credit. This is basically all Paul. Mm -hmm. um, I'm just I just help navigate the photographers mostly for for silent. Um, but yeah, he he's the founder, art director man behind the store the shirts so i'm just stoked to help you know lend a hand keep keep the print photos alive but yeah but yeah and this is great like, so break down because it is like kind of crazy that the amount of print that paul is pushing out <laughs> it is right is like <laughs> so <Super> impressive <laughs> silent is free correct or no uh do you know should i have asked you this before and you <laughs> said you wouldn't you said you knew this Jeff. oh man well, well, maybe it's the cost. Of this, it's the shipping. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. No, no. Slack is free. Slack is free. Slack is free. Oh, oh, yeah. Okay. Slack is free at bike shops, and it comes in orders when you get stuff from stores. Okay. Um, be yeah, silent. And so this one is like kind of the traditional, as far as I understand it. The, advertisers. The traditional advertisers. So you're gonna get, you're gonna see ads and stuff like that, but the byproduct is that there is you don't have to buy this product, I guess. True. Yeah. And there's actually words in Slack. Yeah. Silence, yeah. like you know, captions, maybe some intros, but More. hence, hence the name Silent. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it's funny. I when, never thought oh, of it that way. When we did Silent, <laughs> and then eventually Paul's like, "Yeah, I want to do another magazine." And I was like, "Another one? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> really? Like?" And I, and honestly, I'm pretty hands off with Slack um, because from the get go with Silent, I told Paul like, "I know what it takes to do editorial and the lift it involves," and oh, yeah. mm -hmm. with just you know my role at gt and w having like a family and stuff there's no way i could like chase down like editorial stuff yeah at yeah. least not to the level i'd want to do it at um so slack is pretty it's basically just paul um and uh oh man my brain is fried right now um, jordan helps a lot uh jordan and felix uh felix help with stuff no um dan banks dan banks dan okay banks. yeah, yeah. Nice. Uh, aka the funny guy on instagram <laughs> <laughs> but yeah no it's great um and then paul you know publishing books like a lot of um photo books i mean the spots book series yeah yeah, yeah they're amazing but, but then um and this one this is my first time seeing the Corey one in real life but i think Corey actually reached out to paul about doing it which is pretty cool because the other ones it was more us like Oh, Dakota probably has a lot of cool spot photos. Oh, mm -hmm. Grant, you know, and it's great that they're down to do it. But this one, it's like this is like a whole other level. Like, yeah, it's thick. this is insane. But 
So mm -hmm. the spots book, uh, glancing at the site, that's that's twenty bucks. And then I think they they were having issues with shipping being like kind of over the top, but they've recently figured it out in some capacity, um, at least improved it. Um, but then obviously there's a bunch of these are just your photos, correct? Yeah. So that's that's cool. Just uh, printed, framed. Everything here basically goes to fund silent. Oh, cool. Yeah, there's really no like. It's all just to keep it going. Yeah. Everything's just contribution based, so um, it's just it's the cost paper and shipping and everything. So Paul's just trying to find creative ways to. Yeah, and it, I mean it looks it, it looks like it, there is a lot of options. I mean, obviously there's there's clothing and and uh, all that stuff. They have the heavies, but just a, a bunch of silent man mag offerings and and cool stuff and cool little. Uh, random things too bits. yeah so it's the, um, the whole backstory with silent really is, it goes back to doomed um paul asked me to do some photo shirts mm -hmm. and then that went over pretty well and he's like i've got this bigger idea what do you think about <laughs> doing like a magazine mm. and i was like i don't know all right i don't know how he does it i don't know how he does it i make yeah. i joke i'm like how, how do you even sleep dude like yeah, uh -huh. yeah there's, there's so much so stuff much. here and every I, I see all these new things come out that he does and i'm like when did you make that what's this like it looks like he like it, and it does it i feel like it's gonna come across as like an insult but it's like it's like a it's almost like he makes something he doesn't care like it, it's like he's confident like oh i made this real quick and it, even though it only took me five minutes i'm okay with that or something and it's like and the collection of everything and the overall appearance like is cool yeah like, i don't think it looks i think it looks sick that, yeah, like, it's that fun. all that stuff is it it i'm jealous of it honestly that you could just like crank stuff out he's got a really cool yeah. aesthetic it's like a quite it's like a confidence thing <laughs> does that make sense does it or am i still sounding like a minute maybe he's just, he just has like a stream of consciousness he just like i don't know what it is but yeah it's, it's working for him yeah yeah it's fun like and over the years, like, you know, all the years at Ride, when we would work with the art director and then we'd see, like, your layouts and we're like, uh, I don't know, we need to change this, tweak this. Yeah. Seriously, with um, uh, the Aeroscans book, got it, like, saw the layout, and I was like, I didn't want to change anything. Really? That's incredible. Everything yeah. was just like, I'm like, this is, is your, dialed. Is it's your book still available? Um, I don't know. I'm mean, sure there's some floating around some bike shop somewhere. I don't know if there's any more on here. Yeah. But um, well, he just up a little higher. like just. Oh, that was the cover. Oh, that was the cover. Choices yeah. of like, photo. it was like perfect. Mm -hmm. There was nothing I yeah, nitpicked he, about. He he seems like he has a really good eye for just all this stuff. Yeah, yeah. And it's yeah. cool to hear you back it up with. It was perfect. Straight yeah, I, was and like, I have that book and I like that book. I was so. stoked. Like, yeah. Cool. Yeah. So uh, silent silent str dot com and then uh i think they have a u.s distributor for their clothes too okay so like if you want clothes and you live in the u.s i think there's a way to get it faster okay. it'll, it'll be on that site too cool. um yeah shout out to them thanks to thanks to paul for uh sending me a package of books i felt bad that he sent a package like a month ago and it literally just showed up as an empty plastic thing oh uh, like the books yeah. fell out at a point and there was they actually delivered nothing they delivered you oh, a bag shit. a bag Big from wales bags. yeah so it's a silent bag silent, silent bag yeah silent um bag. emptiness is silent <laughs> uh sponsorship news i always forgot we forgot to do the breakdown but i think people get the get the gist at this point um murray lobser off of fly i have much respect for the people behind the brand greatly appreciate the belief and support thank you for having me the decision was was mine as i live into the future um, so, obviously, maybe Murray has something else going on. Is he? He's nope. no longer on. He's on. Not on Sunday either, huh? No, oh, really? just Odyssey and I think Red Bull. Wait, he wasn't on Sunday. He I don't think. I don't think. I don't think he was ever time. actually on Sunday. Oh, really? Yeah, I think maybe they were trying to. Sort well, I don't want to speak for them. But yeah. Vans Odyssey. Maybe. Vans Odyssey and Red Bull. Yeah. Red Bull. So it's been a couple of weeks. I he hasn't. We haven't heard anything. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. Well, anyway, he rips, and yeah, anybody would be lucky to have him. Yeah, yeah one of definitely my favorites. Rips. Yeah. Um, definitely surprising news. Oh, Chase yeah. Hawk off of Etnies did not actually say anything, but the call out is there that he's wearing a pair of New Balances. 
Which is, the, is isn't that what Thai wore too? Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's funny that that's like the go-to, you know. So, um, but yeah, uh, I mean, how many years? I mean, I guess he was on Vans for a while. He was on Vans for a little while. Yeah. I remember early on. And then, and then maybe seven years, six years on it. I say at least that. Yeah. Yeah. So pretty wild. Didn't see probably that longer. Coming. Actually, longer than that. I feel like. I think. I won't say over ten years because I'm pretty sure. Yeah. I'm trying to like do math in my head, like pre Zola. Yeah. <laughs> that's like that's like that's probably like my my you know. Yeah. Let's see. I'm trying to see what the oldest thing is, but um, yeah, we can move on. Uh, 2013. Welcome to Etnies. 11 oh, wow. years. Yeah, I was, wow. I was pretty close. Thank you, Grizola. We have Jones Soda oh, picking yeah. up bike riders. Uh, Nick Bruce is on, um, and then Casey Starling and. Cole Volker are also on. I know Cole and Casey went to uh, the Northwest. I don't know how far they went up, if they went up to Portland all the way or, or where. I but think they were in San Francisco. Yeah, right before BMX Day. Oh, they, okay. they, they, like, charged down to make it in time. Yeah, so pretty sick. Um, Jones picking up the original audio. Uh, picking up several riders, I think. Does, does uh, Cole have some... Yeah, that is cool. Treat. Yeah, so awesome. Cream soda and a flat table top. So, um, pretty cool. Looking forward to seeing what uh what they got up there. Yeah, so that's but that's Portland. Mm -hmm. Yeah, San Fran. They they beelined it from San Fran uh, like on the nice. night the day before, but yeah, uh, but okay, they okay. did make it up pretty far. So, that's that's Vancouver. But mm -hmm. just outside of Portland. Um, Daniela Moran on Fictive Bikes. I'm not uh, too super familiar with Fictive, but I know uh, Danielle. Daniela yeah. kills it out here. Um, her and Andres Pardo live in San Diego. She had a clip on BMX Day riding that roof spot. Oh, yeah. yeah. The toboggan off of it, which is insane. I mean, you see all the people that were just, like, jumping up there and eating shit. So yeah. the fact mm -hmm. that she just chilled and did it, and she always kills it. She does. Um, so... Uh, pretty cool, and then we'll give a quick over fictive. I know they're working on frames and all that stuff. They got Caleb Rucker on there. I don't know exactly what else they are making. Rotted ankles, bar end stuff like that. So um, maybe a brand you're not familiar with. But and then if you're not familiar with Danielle, I give her a follow. She she kills it. So uh, Hucker, uh, what is it? Off of ODI and Oakley. I don't know if he. Did you add this? Who added I, this? I didn't James add this. this probably. Yeah. Um, yeah, I didn't see that coming at all. Yeah, I didn't see that coming. Uh, Oakley's surprising just because he he seemed like he was like family there. You yeah. know, like he like posted this not too long ago, which is from the trails at Oakley. So, um, but I don't know if he made a specific post, but they're not no longer in his bio, which they definitely were previously. So mm. maybe I think James eagle eyeing eagle eyeing some things but um if we're wrong if we are wrong please let us know and then, then i'll say sorry um events that happened run through real quick so-called compound um just uh obviously a bunch of events this last month with bmx day and all that stuff but super quick run Dang. through there looks like a diy where, backyard where is that mm -hmm. You know I get those questions. <laughs> <laughs> Don't know. Yeah. Um, it's from it's in Bethany's hometown. <laughs> uh, the Canberra photo exhibit. This is just a photo exhibit based off of uh, the Can Canberra scene. Canberra scene in Australia. Um, Twenty years of BMX. Just a bunch of history. Um, they have a site over here and all that so oh uh, sick yeah. that's cool yeah. pretty cool Whoa. beautiful photos over 20 years of bmx kind of runs through everything yeah um super cool uh oh i got the words right here an exhibition of photos and videos that was held in Can canberra australia on the 29th of june hosted by tyson jones penny and the backbone crew um this local shop served as a gathering place for riders for 19 years reese williams along with uh, tyson played a big role 
and bringing the community together. Uh, yeah, via Backbone GMX. So shout out to them. Link is in there. Uh, we did the EFIS video. Nigel, somebody else want to talk? You know this one. You talk, Albert. I'm I talk. Don't talk. You talk. Um, 24 hours, right? No, 18 hours. Um, they wrote, They had two big bike events uh, in two different cities, uh, London oh. and New York City. They, they did the London one and then hopped on a jet, flew straight over to New York, did the New York one. Obviously, gigantic turnout. Look yeah. at them, chilling. Yeah, it's cool pretty thing. crazy. Yeah, yeah. It's a cool thing insane. to do. And then and then Nigel actually had like the billboard thing, right? In, Ooh. In Manhattan or yeah, pretty crazy. So Times Square. Yeah. Yep. That photo was crazy. You see, they're they're in the Jordans, just yeah, so sick. Bike air. Yeah, pretty cool. Massive turnout. Yeah, obviously it looks like a lot of wheelie kids and stuff like that whatever bike life stuff yeah i think it just like yeah yeah Yeah. it's more or less a big ride out opposed to like a okay yeah not like a like not like a dawn on the streets type no no just like get out and ride um and then our jam which happened on the 20th for once yep uh i don't know should we watch anything uh it was a good jam good jam it was was that spot was crazy that was that was the spot that was like spot it was so epic Oh, or, yeah. <laughs> or crazy. Um, yeah. So, yeah, amazing. The uh, the that was amazing. I, I think on Tuesday we had somebody go and look and see if the ramps were still there and they were gone. So maybe uh-huh. Monday. So yeah, they were immediately just yeah taken out. It was like the dust of the but that truck right there, that truck that balled shit up a little bit. Uh, was still there with the ticket was it? on it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just keeps getting tickets. So, um, crazy day overall. I think uh, we survived. Everybody survived. We nobody survived. Got, we got, a, got in trouble. We got a police escort somehow. We got a police yeah. escort. I got a police officer's phone number. <laughs> um, no calls yeah. yet? No calls. Good. No. Yeah. I made him. I, le- I legitimately made him. He was like, when he asked my for my phone number, I was like, all right, but you have a pinky promise me you're not going to call me later and tell me you need me to come down to the station. <laughs> and he was like, okay. <laughs> he gave you the pinky promise. <laughs> he's like, I'm giving you my personal cell phone number. So we're kind of, he's like, he's like, we're, so we're on the same level. I'm like, no, we're not. Because I can't take you to jail. <laughs> yeah, <true. laughs> well, why do you give you his number though? So you can so call him, tell him where we're so going. So generally, like the cops are. A lot of people have questions over this. So, so it, generally, the cops in San Diego have always been super nice, right? Uh, for BMX day. Yeah. Yeah, in general. I yeah. think I think it, yeah. generally pretty nice, especially after COVID and all that stuff. I feel like that the vibe changed a little bit. Like you know, back in the day, there was definitely like a clip of somebody getting arrested, but I think they like jumped on a cop car or jumped on a car or something. Yeah, like that. I mean. And uh, um, but it always takes them like three or four spots to find us mm-hmm. because we end up going somewhere and then we we leave. But that first spot this year was like we were hanging out there for a really long time so it was because it was like first, three hours yeah so we were there for so long that the cops showed up and then they mm-hmm. were they found out since we were all stagnant they found out who organized it i think we were kind of messing with them but i think they figured out that it was yeah. at a point. and uh and he, and he was like well we just want to make sure everybody gets safe like do you know where you are going and and i was like yeah i have like the actual route if you want it and then it was just communication like when we we're leaving one spot they they call me and they're like all right when you leave the third spot don't go down a street make sure you go down b street like and don't go against traffic so it was like stuff like that so uh okay. they were they were super nice overall and then like the last two spots the security guards are pretty grumpy mm-hmm. and then uh you know he'd be like oh right, well, wrap it up and I'd be like okay and then I wouldn't. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then he We're would. Staying. And then he would call back again, and it'd be like, "All right, I'm." Tr- I was like, "I'm trying," you know. Like I was like, kind of, kind of BS and a little. Yeah. Bit. And then I'm like, "All right, I'll set a timer for 15 minutes, and then we'll leave." And he's like, "Okay." Yeah. So it did reach a point at the end where, over their intercom, they said anybody on the property is getting arrested yeah they, yeah, they, they, yeah. i think they were just over it they yeah. were helping us from 1 to 7 30 ish yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah yeah and that's a long day and that's what they yeah. said they were like 7 p.m the 
I can't remember exactly what he said, but basically Shift he was change. like, he was, yeah, 7, p- <laughs> 7 p.m. the vibe is changing. Yeah. So yeah, I was like, fair well, enough. They probably need more police to do more things because it's getting dark out and people are getting loose. And, yeah. 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 You know. Well, there, and there's also like, I think there was a couple more big events happening in SD that day. And yeah. 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 Comic Con Yeah. Yeah. Comic Con and, and Pride. Yeah. 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 So, but yeah, shout out to SDPD. I mean, that was incredible. I literally got asked, like, did you pay for that? No. Yeah, they probably they were probably like we don't want anyone to get hit by cars yeah they 100%. they blocked off i mean uh, you yeah. saw it there they blocked the whole road off we were there and they yeah. lined up cars so people couldn't come through they redirecting yeah. traffic just so we can grind down a rail it's and i feel safe. like a lot of times like you know you could be riding street and your cop drives by but like a lot of times unless you're flying off said object into the street they won't say anything un- until the property owner calls, calls. yeah so yeah. and in the last two instances security was like yeah. calling but so even then like the lady was blocking the rail so nothing could really happen and uh-huh. then she's like i'm gonna go, the cops are over there i'm gonna go tell them we're like okay go for it yeah because <laughs> i literally watched her she went over there and she got like she was like <sighs> like she got like the guy basically told her like oh just let it happen like yeah she she did her part she tried yeah yeah, yeah. and that's as that's much all, she can do. can do her job can't, is to tell the cops can't be she a did. human shield to protect yeah. the rail yeah <laughs> you know like yeah. she's not paid well enough for that yeah. like, i think i think that one is harder the, that uh that first that down rail spot without ledge because we got there a little like premature because it was only like 15 of us yeah and then yeah. like a couple hundred people come down the road yeah. like five minutes later yeah she and i think it stressed to. her out yeah uh, understandably fair, fair so, enough but yeah um yeah Shout out! Shout out to SDPD. Shout out to sponsors of that. Uh, do I have that here? Um, yeah, uh, I'll do that. Monster Cash Up. So Monster and Cash Up, they obviously gave away five thousand dollars in cash, and then the uh, golden ticket that they were calling it, which is a trip to the next jam to Australia, went to to Matt Clawson. Yeah, and, uh, pretty pretty hard decision between Clawson and Joe and Joe Jarvis. But I, I bet. Yeah, so both killing it. Both killed it. It was just kind of came down to I think like Clawson rode like pretty much every spot and killed it. Mm. So he did ride every single spot. Yeah. yeah, and then I got to give them both like extra money at the after party and stuff. So I like saved. I tried to save like two grand, but I think it ended up being like eighteen hundred or s- yeah. something like that. So they both got or maybe sixteen hundred. So they both got like an extra eight hundred dollars that I split between them and then Clawson got there. Mm. So um and then uh SD Wheelworks gave a frame to Boss Hogg's kid and then three hundred dollars went to the non pro of the day, which we were kinda thinking like, oh that I mean Benny, like Benny's kinda non pro right now, like kinda gray area. So mm-hmm. um not getting paid by any bike company yeah. so we just pro uh, level but not technically on a pro yeah team. so yeah. gave, gave yeah. that to benny and then um a bunch of prizes from the, all the other sponsors odi haro fiend and then colt and sunday montecule we gave the uh the voucher to hilario odyssey kink bmx and then uh sd wheelworks was the one that gave the frame to boss hogs kid and yeah. then the 300 dollars to benny so they always step up on a bunch so yeah, yeah they the really do in san diego that that uh, is run by BMXers and lifers and had a, had yeah. a crazy shop. So Hell yeah. um, come uh, come to the next one. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Maybe we'll do one. In, uh, maybe Albert will throw another one in October. Yeah, maybe. Put it out <laughs> in the world. Yeah. Um, okay, that's it. Events that happened. Sorry if we didn't cover your event. There was a lot this month, so um, uh, barely barely talked about our own event. So um, ASA triples is coming back, which is pretty crazy. Uh, the footage looks so old. <laughs> so funny. But uh, August 15th to the 18th in at the Orange County Fairgrounds. So you could uh, go warm up at the Volcom Park. and then That box jump looked to, like eight feet wide. Yeah. So pretty crazy. It was always a pretty wild event. Um, who knows what will come of that. If there'll be more of them or if it's a one-off. Um, uh, when is it? August 25th, Dave Mirren Memorial Celebration. Um, there is a statue that they're unveiling, which is super cool. Oh, yeah, that's so, amazing. Hell yeah. Yeah. Um, Dave Mira raffle items, riding session, food trucks. So sick. Um, cool to just see something from Mira in Greenville. I'm sure they've done a few things over the years, but mm-hmm. you know, uh, it's, it's been a while. So great to see that. Um, the there's no links, but uh, the last bike or bike side jam. Do I have this? Yes, stop bikes. Is that it off the top of my head? Yeah, I think so. They're putting in work. Uh, yeah, I was looks, literally just looking at that. That right looks awesome. Yeah. We're getting out of the car and come in here. That's it's like insane. the it's like the Olympics ramp. 
Right. Yeah. Yeah. yeah really Training. Good. They should paint it lavender. Yeah. Back. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. yeah that's that's so so lavender sad. roll. It. <laughs> and put a spine ramp like on the side of it, so it's a waterfall spine. Just put a transition yeah, on the other the, side. I, I think Ditch if, Olympics. If, if, yep. Trevor, if Trevor's Olympics. listening, you should probably paint it purple and lavender. Yes. Just. <laughs> 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 but that's gonna be sick. Yeah. Um, I think the date is what did I say? Seventeen. Nine fourteen. So uh, gonna be a rough is. one for us going there. But um, last corn hucket jam. Did they post it? It was also the same weekend. The final corn artist. Yeah, the final. Yeah. September 14th. Um, why the last crazy amount of work takes a toll on my family. An amazing run. and want to end it on a high note. So, um, yeah, I think that's, they've done it for four or five years. So it makes, makes sense to kind of yeah. just call it while it's good. So yeah. um, shout out to Nowhere. Uh, Feast Shanghai is on the October 16th to the 20th. Um, that's a really good website. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure something's not loading right now, but um, yeah, Feast <coughs> Event Shanghai. I don't know much. I guess that would be the first one after uh, Olympics. After the Olympics. Yeah. So. When is that? The October 16th? 16th through the 20th. And then, uh, source. There's a link there, but it's to the new bowl, which I think has info about the. Oh, is it? Was there? The new source bowl. All right, yeah. fair enough. Yeah, Jason Watts put in some work, yeah. huh? Yeah. So they started announcing <laughs> teams, too, but I think this is like the. I think Paris announced hers today, and Josh Dove yeah. announced yeah. his yesterday. So this is a few clips, obviously, before they do the work. Yeah. We're gonna try and get. I mean, how long? It's been like six years since they really changed it. You know, I think they t put that corner in at some point. They tweaked the street side. Yeah. But but yeah, it's definitely due for a refresher, and then the. Did you guys ever watch the source like documentary thing mm -hmm. where it's like the sea and seed ramps and how they all kind of just like lego together yeah and and then obviously this one is like jason in a drill and some beer mm -hmm. but it's gotta be a huge <laughs> undertaking to like undo it and then figure out what to do next yeah and that place is so phenomenal like yeah it's the incredible. way you walk in and it's just one seamless flowing you don't see it ground right yeah it's, it's yeah it's they made do with all the space they got it's incredible it's i mean looking at the conditions of the ramps too they really don't look like they look really good yeah you can see oh, hold on right? yeah considering it's those, like, sub subterranean see, next to the ocean in yeah, england <laughs> see like the cutouts of the boards and stuff and they're all like they're bent oh wow yeah yeah, yeah that's amazing like that's I forgot about that. Yeah, stuff. it's not the typical like two by four along the side like those. Right. You know, right. which is I mean, it's just crazy how the ramps were built previously. So more traditional build style, but obviously Jason is absolutely incredible at what he does. Man, that's a lot of cutting. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I helped uh, resheet some stuff at the Claremont Park and in the corners and stuff and cutting is it's like maddening like yeah. you're like trying to trying to ryan corrigan around a outside corner or something and get all the cuts right so it just doesn't look insane it's yeah. so impossible it, it, it's so frustrating so yeah looks I looks know. amazing yeah. yeah yeah is the the street side going to be the same right I mean, yeah. they, may, they may change something, but yeah. I do not know. So, um, a couple of clips of Jason afterwards, and then I they had the qualifier. Um, so, like, Jude Jones won a team captain spot um, at the qualifier last weekend. So, he's now a team captain, so we don't know who his team is yet. But 
um, pretty cool. And then, uh, and then the rest of them will be announced on the way. So, you know, yeah. we're gonna see the curve wall ride into the wedge. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. Can't wait. Yes. Um, and then we have Nora Cup, which I think we've already discussed. We haven't posted anything else other than this, but it's it's we're doing it. I swear. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, we were working on it right before we started filming this. So, uh, September 8th, uh, after the Battle of Hastings finals, Hastings, England, in the normal, in the same spot we've been in for the last year or two, off and on, um, the White Rock Theater, and uh, announcing all that stuff. Voting for Nora Cup will start if all things go to plan on Monday, August 5th. Maybe. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. It's confidence level should be good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we should be good. A um, couple things it is. Yeah, so we got a lot. Uh, August is the month of Nora Cup. So, um, and then X Games Japan is on September twenty second. I think uh, same thing. USA BMX event in Salt Lake City at that secret facility. Secret. Um, that we already discussed. Uh, simple session August. 24th and 25th um we are going to be there grant's going to go out and film for us so we'll have coverage of that uh shout out to risto and them last corn hook it we're doing it twice uh tacos and tires i just thought this graphic was cool so i threw it in here uh i don't you, know you anything like you like ta- you like tacos <laughs> i like yeah. tacos yeah, too. yeah yeah tires help me go places like taco stands yeah yeah um, so uh, Austin, Texas, October twentieth, um, looks kind of cool. Yeah. Taco and bike competition. Hell yeah. What do you think of taco and bike competition? I would go. <laughs> I <Yeah>. might go. <laughs> taco and bike. Catch me in Austin. <laughs> <laughs> um, videos. Uh, shout out to Source for sponsoring the contest. Uh, we filmed, I filmed these two bike checks at X Games. We sandwiched them in there, but um, a bunch of bike checks happening on their channel, which I think is like a almost like a dying thing these days. So yeah. not not all that common anymore. So um, cool to see them do it. And then obviously with Van hosting, and then they got a bunch of other stuff going on, gearing up for Battle of Hastings. Uh, shout out to Source. And then videos. Um, two minutes. Is this did I miss it? Uh, might have been the the rail, the rail stuff, rail yeah. rail. So this was the winner of the street combat video part, right? Like contest yeah, that, yeah. They, yeah. they had going on. Yeah, rail the rail pretty impressive yeah yeah they're offset yeah. too yeah huh? and that one the second one's yeah. taller and it looks very sharp <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah least safest rail to rail and the then uh, we watched his, his bangers crazy too so Andrew Nesterov um, I believe yeah so he was the winner of the street combat video series and they if you're not familiar um They've been doing a lot, so they have all these video parts yep. of upcoming dudes. There's a lot of a lot of Eastern European guys and South American mm-hmm. guys and stuff like that. So a lot of dudes you're not familiar with it, but they obviously all do. Yeah. So um, give that a look. <coughs> um, Four fifteen. It's just insane. Dude. Florida spot. Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) He's so sick and he makes it look like he's not even nervous. But then this. (laughs) He's so sick. (laughs) (laughs) The the gap to crook that he does in the in the cold video is insane. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. On the bottom. That's a really quick grind. Yeah. For that, for a drop that. That's good. But the first time I yo. saw that, I thought he was just gonna tires it. It's like the feeble like complicates yeah. things so much more. That uh, that's a crazy spot too. It looked like an actual like skate park down ledge, but it just is like <laughs> off the <laughs> roof. And yeah, you made a tin. You, you, you zoom know, out real quick. And yeah, like the reveal. Like oh no. Because like the fact that the roof was flat going in instead of like the normal like. Yeah. But that was crazy. 
one a thing that you joke about but you don't actually do mm-hmm. though. So yeah. Um, for sixteen, this is. Hey, you know that guy. Hey, Jeff knows about this one too. I know him. Tristan's the man. That's this so crazy. Insane. You see the pole at the bottom too. Doesn't make yeah. anything any safer. Oh, it's it's crazy. insane. Rebar dragon to the side. And oh yeah. The fact that you put the piece of wood there to keep the door closed. <laughs> He's like ah. Uh, yeah, that part. I guess he was like overwhelmed with emotion going into that, and then I think he just like, I don't know, he just let out yeah. all of like survival, like, like yeah. Hulk smash, yeah. like. Ah. Um, am crazy. I am I wrong? He had lost a friend due to due to a film that yeah go, he yeah yeah he passed yeah oh. Burgate. he got yeah he got yeah, yeah. yeah. He was pat- we uh, we discussed that uh, that's yeah awesome. I remember. Uh, shout out to Tristan. The whole video part is crazy. And then, uh, oh, I lost a ton code in my head. 252. Thought I had it. And close. That's close. <laughs> is that, was that it? I think so. Yeah. I didn't, I didn't yeah. put the time go, but that's amazing. Rare. The peg bonks on the floor. <laughs> that is sick. Long pegs. Crusty Japan spots. Yeah. This is the the Motobuck, uh New Era collab thing, right? Yep. Yeah. yeah. Collab you didn't know you needed. Yeah. So shout out to Motobanka. Hell yeah. Um, and I I, I didn't do our uh, the disclaimer where it's like like we we just think these were the best videos of the month. So we're gonna run through them real quick. It's not meant to uh, be a an entire, you know, report on every single thing that happened <laughs> in lot, the video. A lot, a lot we happens. know every single person's <laughs> name, etc., yeah. etc. Yeah, et so like, much happens. It's meant to be like we like this video. You watch too. It was five thirty, right? Uh, my brain. It said five thirty. I think it got mixed up on the right because you see it says Felix and Godwin. So. Oh. Yeah, I think it just. Uh, yeah, switch. Huh. Oh yeah, maybe it's one up. No, we got huge roof ender, so I think we're one. Thing go like that. Gotcha. All right. No, but the time code's still off, so we got to go. So I just grabbed the wrong time code for both of those videos, or what? No. Okay. Cause you got the Tristan one right. Well, that's what I'm saying. I went to 252 on the last one, but that's okay. Let's figure. It out. Let's see if this if 252 is really good, then we messed up on the last one, and it wasn't supposed to be a curve wall to. I do miss Taiwan. Oh, um, <laughs> they, they wrote like the. A couple of the same spots. Yeah, yeah. That was such a great trip. Such a so stacked the place to be. The, the backward ice up in that, that spot. Route. Yeah. That was definitely one of the best trips. Taiwan seems to be, like, kind of hard to ride. Nope. Like, I feel like, well, you guys got in, on the news, too, and then there was that oh, recent yeah. video yeah. where you uh, got on that, the news. That definitely that did horrible. happen. Yeah. I don't think it was that, like, that gnarly, though. Because we also wow, had... That was that cool. Was crazy. Wow. wow. We didn't ride that. It definitely see that thing we also had cops come up to us and tell us to leave places and then we'd say okay and then the cops would leave yeah we'd stay we no trust way. you yeah <laughs> you look like upstanding individuals we'll go on our way now but yeah then also we were on the news so <laughs> <laughs> but yeah obviously incredible video um i think this was a, a rich form edit so yeah it so. indeed was um Felix and Godwin. I just hope we have the right time time codes at this point. Well, wherever you click on a Felix and Jordan, Jordan, Jordan video, video yeah, it's going to be fun. It's just going to be crazy idea. no matter what. And another rich foreign edit. Man's cranking out videos. <laughs> yep. Yeah. That was a good time code. Even just seeing, even seeing Jordan just ice that King Trail at, on BMX Day is just so casual. Like the 20, 2023 Street Rider of the yeah, Year. Yeah, right? Yep. It Incredible. literally is like the most 
hard to imagine thing for me to do, and he wanted a 180 out of it. So. Well, that was crazy. Did he that full? Was, he cool. full cabbed up to backlash. That's pretty crazy. That was cool. Yeah, anywhere you click in this video. Yeah. You can't go wrong. No. Yeah. That's sick. Yeah. All right. There's like <laughs> eight more minutes of that that we get sucked into. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Mason Ritter, Sith Bart. I love that guy. Mason. We should go to. Mason. He was just out here for a little bit. Yeah. yeah. He was at BMX Day. Well. Yeah. 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 He did the giant caveman. That was that was amazing. Yeah. I I didn't know he was gonna do that. He was up there. I was like, oh shit! And I like ran down and turned around and just barely caught it. Another giant oh, caveman. That was cool. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Mason's <laughs> sickest. I filmed that clip, didn't I? Uh, man, I think. Yeah, yeah, I think you might have. Yeah. Um, no, you shot a sequence. Oh, did I? Yeah. That's what it was. I was actually, I don't want to say it, but yeah, you shot a sequence. Okay. <laughs> you don't say it. <laughs> <laughs> um, for The filming left much to be desired. Oh, okay. Mickey. Always on his grind. Yeah. Always. But that was my childhood, just trying to grind as far as possible. <laughs> yeah. you know, I love it. Just straight feeble? Just go. Yeah, just like, yeah. His power grinds are awesome. Yeah, he's not oh, sick. <laughs> Another video you can get sucked into. Yeah. Yeah. I'm about to cut it after this one, but Jesus. he definitely oh looked over. God. He looked over his left, like he was looking for cars coming or something, and he still yeah, did that. That's that is so good. Yeah, to the clear. Yeah. yeah. They premiered this at the Copenhagen Cash Up Jam, but it was like I couldn't. I was like trying to. Oh. Couldn't get at it. So. Aww. You're um, like, is this hair pink or right? is it just the <laughs> monitor? <laughs> Uh, 435, I think it was. Clint Miller turns yeah. 50. Happy birthday, Clint. Yeah, that's... Still just killing it. <laughs> <laughs> the best backyard on the planet, yeah. potentially. Throw the hard yards do go we, down. Do we have the... They just dropped a video about his yard. Did we post that up? Is that in here, too? Probably not. But uh, shout out to Clint. Happy birthday. Um, I think. Let's see if that is. Time flies. I don't know. So much happens. Yeah. Like Jeff said. Maybe so much stuff happens. Yeah. Dude, it's. I mean, I honestly rely on these because <laughs> dude, I, I'm so far, like, I can't keep up. I'm not even close. So usually. I try to tune into these just so I'm like, oh, okay, this That's, is like... Yeah, uh, like, oh, I want to continue watching that. You may yeah. know, yeah. It's like the cliff notes of what happened. That's what we're trying... That's a good way to put it. That's what yeah. we're trying. Mm -hmm. I didn't see this. Is this a, is this a full Casey part? Nobody knows. Yeah, I, did, <laughs> I didn't see this. Pat probably added this one in. Looks like This it. is a video I definitely yeah. have my list to watch, though. Yeah. It's all, um, yeah, like East oh, Coast, you know, yeah. Philly, New Jersey guys. That's what it is. Yeah. Uh, so, public impression, undertow. I, I like the name too. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> it also it sounds like a hard. It sounds like a hardcore band too, but yeah, which, does, is also, yeah. which is also cool. So double double win for me. Pat said this was his favorite clip of the month. <laughs> Oh, okay. And I, I've, I know which one he's talking about already. This one? The, this one. Oh, this, yeah. The yeah. perfect setup. Look at that. Whoa. Oh, wow, <laughs> that's that. insane. That's, that's so cool. satisfying. That's sick. Yeah. Oh, he did it more than once. <laughs> Probably because it was so satisfying. Yeah. yeah. I'm just going to do it one more time. This, kit, this dude's kit the whole time just looks like he like is on like a vacation or something yeah and then he's just happens to be riding bikes too <laughs> yeah. so but yeah he go the old video part sick so 
like a Kangol hat yeah. on or something. Yeah, like, you know, the and like, like he like got, <laughs> borrows, he was borrowing somebody else's bike or something. So pretty funny. Um, Mathis Dupois butchered it, but I tried. Uh, Seven thirty-two. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, it's gonna be a Rory clip, huh? That's Maybe. cool. Yeah. He's sick. <laughs> I thought it was going to be, isn't Renato the, the one that is the backwards, backwards manual champion? Yeah, he is. Yeah. Case in point, probably. Yep. Yep, there he is. Jeez. In addition, Renato won a gold medal in the backwards manual competition. Mm -hmm. We just did more tricks in one clip. I can do all, <laughs> yeah. all combined. Um, super cool mini documentary on uh, on Darth Dre, aka Charles Charles Condal. By Joel Moody. By yeah. Joel Moody. Two, yeah, another, two another solid yeah. people right there. It's crazy how Charles stuff that he does for Instagram cell film. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's so crazy. Nuts. So the gist of it is that Charles is a helicopter pilot mm -hmm. and uh, goes and flies around, and in his off time, he rips, essentially. He rips. He yeah, rips. really. Most interesting. That's that, that yeah. is like. That's, yeah. That's like something that you see like Cor Martinez do or something. Yeah. You know, just like next level. Super cool. Yeah. And he's traveling like these places, and he just has so many spots that people you never see. You never see any of the spots he's riding, yeah. and he's doing really technical, scary rail tricks on him. Yeah. So. And his uh, his Instagram is definitely one to follow for sure. Yeah. At Darth Dre. Uh, eight minutes. This part's sick. Ooh. Oh my goodness! In the bushes. What, what road fools is that rail from? Dave Fryman did it, I think. I think they all did it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think every. I think they sessioned it. That rail is ridiculous. Okay, it's, it's crazy. It's still there. Yeah. yeah. When I'm 15, I'm going to do a rail. I'm going to try to go there and do that one. <laughs> 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 Fuck it, I'll feeble that fucker. <laughs> you got that. And then I'll retire. <laughs> <laughs> and then I'll retire. Yeah, take a nap. So, uh, obviously, Colt, 11 minutes in Germany. So, well, and not in just, oh, in Cologne, yeah. So, um, yeah, 11 minutes, ends with a banger. Uh, we premiered this at the BMX Day Jam and had some technical difficulties. And it bummed <laughs> me out. It was, a one, it was a one stain on the day, but... It worked out. Um, yeah, it was okay enough, but... Um, Stink Pit full DVD... Stink at seven, by the way. Seven. Pretty, pretty amazing. Yeah. And that setup is sick. That, per that wall ride is awesome. Literally have a goldfish memory. I can never remember the time code. Conway's Ender in this one is definitely wild. Yeah. They always are, but it's pretty wild. He's got a pretty lengthy part, too. This yeah. crash is bad. Oh, oh, missed every fucking worst. Damn. So oh, bad. Oh, my gosh. Who, who's that? That's the time code? That's what we're trying to watch. <laughs> I, no, I don't think so, right? <laughs> that was the time code. It was 930. Oh, really? 1930. Yeah. Was under. He, he wanted you to watch the whole thing. Yeah, yeah. The whole comic yeah, the whole part. video. Yeah, let me see what it says. I'm taking intersection. Oh, it is. All right. Okay. Should we? Oh, he did say the whole part. Yeah. The other thing I'm, I love about Dan is like he he embodies like the methodology of being just like the full video part 
filmer mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. Like he yeah like they put out these full dvds like seven of them you know and then he we're sitting on the full part of him right now for gt it was going to come out later this year and he you know it's like what's the he, he keeps it for the video parts like his instagram it's like it, messing around yeah. yeah but he really goes in and he's the best dude to have like behind you if you're if you want to do something like he's got you yeah you know he's good on he's good on street missions he'll like help like facilitate what you want to do or whatever anybody else around him wants to do so exactly pretty good to have around and he's a fucking beast he is a beast so good he's definitely one of those dudes like whenever i'm filming or shooting photos i'm not i'm never worried like for the outcome, I'm either gonna do it. If he doesn't, he's just he's just so like he's just built like an ox. So I'm like he's gonna be all right. Like I'm worried for the ground, you know. But I know Dan's gonna be good. That was crazy. That was crazy. Yeah, his spot use like it's it's impeccable. He's really he he just rides all of it. All right, we'll save we'll save some of it. I don't want to I don't want to give out the the full the full last section with the banger and everything. So stink yeah. bit seven. Ender unicorn spot wild move. Nice. Yep. Yes. Um. Five twenty. You guys should start saying the time code out loud so then I can I can remember it. Dialed. So this is Madman Ting Porto, Street Life Crew, Eight Day Trip of Porto. Um, so mix, mix edit. So solid street moves, big steep Smith grind, to big L. So that's that was it right there. Um, also, did you guys drop all these this month? You know the. Um well, obviously, like we originally dropped Kindy Film this on our yeah, and then like yeah, slowly rolling out the individual sections, and then the Ender stories. I just got too busy to keep getting them done, and then when I was home with a broken foot and then the hernia, I was just like, yeah. I'm like I'm gonna just get these done, so Hell then yeah. spacing them out. Yeah, so it's like out. yeah, finally just like they were all in June or July, right? Yeah. Yeah. This yeah. is the last this is the last section from Sift and I'm I still have to cut his ender story. I like started to. Yeah. But his Did the Maddie like, one come out? Yeah, Maddie was the first oh, one. Yeah. It. Maddie one came out right after he got back from Crohn's, so he had like a lot to say and it was oh, really okay. emotional yeah. and yeah. it was good. It was like really yeah, was. Plus Maddie has that charisma, he's super good on camera. Yeah. And I was like, yeah. yeah. Jeff Jeff's so good. Like, yeah. Like, every, every move Under, is like, underrated. Yeah, for sure. He's just another guy which we could do more with, you know? Like, he's just, he's so good. Incredible. Like, this is nuts. Like, it's like <laughs> laughable. Big hop. He has really good hops. He bunny hops really high. He just has, like, that the technique down. He's a machine, too. Like, he'll keep going. Every video part he's put out, I've always... It's such a mix of, of stuff, and he has, like, such a large bag it's of tricks, like too. Yeah. Is that spot still there? I'm I, think, I think it's still there. Yeah. Everything's been done at this point, huh? Was, was Tony Hamlin doing a three-look back? He did three-look back. That was a cover, right? Yeah. Yeah. High cover. Back AC half cab whip, right? Back AC double whipped it. Oh, my God. That was just after? Um... Yeah, just like the credit C type oh, stuff. Okay. Cool. Um, War Party. Um, so Big Salad has like kind of been jumping into. I wonder if there's a link. Yeah. So before we watch, uh, doing turning War Party into kind of something a little bit more. So he's got some clothes, doing a bunch of video content. Um, podcast thing that I think he's doing uh, with Tyson um, from Backbone, I believe. Maybe? Maybe I should look at the email first before I speak out of, speak out of place, but I'm um, doing a bunch, so warparty.tv and then uh, 
Let me remember the time code. There is no time code. So uh, three minutes, I'm gonna choose somewhere back half. But obviously always kills it. Australian, Australian, just these dudes that us dumb Americans are not familiar with, basically. <laughs> There's so many good riders from Australia. It's hard yeah. to keep, keep up. That was sick. Ooh. That was sick, too. Oh, man. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> it got me. <laughs> so, three minutes, and then uh, the <clears throat> War Party YouTube is probably something you should subscribe to. So, yeah. um, just kind of kicking off, but they have a bunch of cool stuff, like the... Uh, just a, a mix of random stuff where it's yeah. clips and even like kind of just like uh, battle clips and B sides and pretty consistent you know. too. Yeah, yeah. Um, so shout out to uh, Troy, from AKA Big Salad, and then honorable mentions: um, George Galio, Galio, uh, Cerebral Palsy BMX on on uh, on Instagram. Uh, just an incredible story and his progression over the over the years is is insane yeah you know? yeah so Ooh. crazy to see him kill it so, yeah um honorable mention we did grandma's driveway back when the bus um this kind of uh from uh yeah kenny horton and latane the they did the Ninth Street documentary, and this is like 18-minute documentary about uh, about backflipping the, the FBM bus uh-huh. and kind of some other wild stunts. <laughs> yeah, and just how it all came about, and yeah. how it just like it was just like a joke, and then it turned into something, and then just oh, kind of like motorcycles. Yeah, <laughs> pretty funny. So, oh man, um, yeah, dude, That's so the whole the whole thing yeah. is fuck. <laughs> That thing is loose. <laughs> you can see it. He actually almost—he runs oh, off the loop god. and just lands on me. Oh my god! Yeah, they had to like hold the loop. Like there's like six people trying to. As if a loop isn't sketchy enough. Yeah. In the best of worlds. Her, he never <laughs> like, ended up making the loop clean before he kind of hurt. I think he hurt his shoulder pretty good. That was gnarly. Uh, I think that was also the same year he. This dude looks like a movie character. Yeah. At the racetrack. Bert, I think his name is. Into the this clip is insane, and him. we'll cut it after this. But there's more. His name is Mikey. Like I'm blanking on his full name right now. But nice cigarettes. And... No, you yeah. can't see anything. You just like I think you like put like a, a lighter or something at the top of the berm so he knew where to take off. Oh, yeah. He didn't take off by the lighter. Oh, right? my <laughs> God. <laughs> yeah, I hadn't seen that clip. Jeez. Perfect. Right into the poison and ivy. Trick for him, or thought, or or uh, something he wanted to accomplish on the bike was the moving ramp. So. Oh hell yeah! <laughs> yeah I want to watch this. this. <laughs> yeah. Wow. So the whole that's, it's that's it, it's kind cool. of focused on the dude Mikey, um, but it it's it's most of it is flipping the bus, and then just kind of continues on in this like story of all the wild shit that yeah. this dude Mikey did. So that's awesome. Um, yeah, pretty cool. I feel bad not remembering Mikey Askew. So, sorry for, for blanking on that. Um, Matthias Dandois, uh, below, super, super cool. I don't, I'm trying to think of the word like artsy, but not in a, in a, in a bad way. I always just yeah. enjoy, enjoy this stuff and I watch it and I'm like, wow. Like, Everything he's a part of is yeah. always really well curated, <clears throat> done well. I, I'm also imagining when I was watching this, how hard it is to uh, flatline on plexiglass. <laughs> right. Oh yeah. Yeah. That's so for, sick though. Yeah. It looks amazing. It looks fake. Yeah. Wait, where's the. I think this next one it like shows it real wide. Where is it? I remember seeing a photo of it somewhere. Yeah. Uh, oh so yeah. That's insane. amazing. Yeah. Uh, short but really cool piece. Um, don't please don't close the window. Uh, Merit in Mexico. Um, 
squad, right? It was uh, Billy Perry, Dan Cruck, and Jack Henneke out there. Um, kind of a short one, but but still super cool. Worth, definitely worth watching. And Speedy G from Keep It Down. Yeah. Last video part uh, in the video. Uh, last section in the video, rather. So not, good. Yeah. So Speedy kills it. Speedy's a man. Yeah. yeah. Best dude. Absolutely worth watching. I think uh, they dropped it on the Sunday channel, so I don't. I assume maybe the other, the other uh, sections are going to be finding their way online soon. So, yeah. water break, bathroom break. Had to get Jeff a beer break and myself a beer. So, shout out, shout out to Dales. Can you say it in? Can you say it in t Kentuckian? Dales. <laughs> <laughs> Let's try and get the audio. That was it. No. Cheers. Cheers. A little daytime. Cheers. I forgot to mention that it was daytime. So, yeah. oh, one. It's like 10.30 a.m. Uh -huh. Yeah. <laughs> Somewhere. It's not that. It's after. <laughs> I'm going to drink it's this. It's 2 p.m. Go operate heavy machinery with spinning blades. Yeah, yeah. Yep. Sounds responsible. Um, okay. Last uh, last old category, the Instagram category. Yep. Um, I'm reading the description thinking that, that it goes for the Instagram, and it does not. Did you mm -hmm. add a lot of Instagrams? Uh, I added the second half. Okay. With the the ones with the text. Yeah. But oh, yeah, it's a sick one. You, this was so we <laughs> talked about Silva last month, I think, on on uh, the podcast. Gave him a shout out for all the incredible writing he's done, and it, he was actually taking like an Instagram hiatus. I didn't necessarily realize that three and a half year Instagram hiatus, um, and he comes back with with this essentially. <laughs> There's a pegless rail on that bike. Yeah, modifying these 1999 Schwinn frames to use as my main rides by cutting off the rear ends and shortening them to modern geometry, along with <laughs> other a few other customiz customizations. So much work went into this, and they turned out great. Um, so I used uh, to have a Chrome one of those. Yeah, so that's what he said. Yeah. I used to ride a Schwinn like this when I was a kid, and I loved it, so I figured there's no better way to kick off my 40s. So that's and amazing it, like, with, the, with the animal, yeah, like, sponsored by animal. So the animal logos and the Schwinn font and stuff like that, yeah. Like, and then the the that was like the Miron, right? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. How badass is that? Super cool. And then I think they have uh, even has the that sprocket super hard to find now. The animal sprocket on there. Oh really? Yeah. yeah. So you can see them. Oh like, wow! And he used the original like the super cap, the original rear end. Yeah. Pretty awesome. Yeah. This is why I was on Instagram, because they do all this cool shit. Right? Yeah. <laughs> I feel so clueless this month with, like, BMX Day and stuff. Yeah. Un uh, understandable. Yeah. I mean. It does It does sneak up on you. And then... Yeah, and they did the pedal oh, trail. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. He's also, like, the, the first person to do, or probably the only person to hang a rail pegless. Yeah, probably. Well, uh, Liam Fayhampton, we talked about, did it, too. Okay. But two people yeah yeah you talk about like you might as well just jump out around your eyes closed oh yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. with like no front yeah. peg like it's a game of odds really yeah, yeah. yeah. So, so uh pretty so, cool so cool kind of kind of i didn't know where that one really fit but uh wanted to get it in there and talk about it yeah um and then another one that we've talked about in the past is uh gas man lives who uh basically if i remember the story correctly he lost his spleen or lost what are the kidney or what it what it uh i don't know he, he had an accident lost spleen but didn't get a vaccination and then his whole body just basically went into sepsis and he lost oh. and he lost like as you can see he lost his arms and his legs and it's only been like about a year and he uh and his recovery and all that is just like insane that he can he is riding bikes yeah yeah and his, yeah. Kids, and his kids still awesome. rip and he and he hangs out with them and it, it's just such a uh a cool you know uh, something i could hardly imagine how i would handle things in that mm -hmm. situation it's hard so, it's hard to fathom yeah. all so, this yeah um but yeah so shout out to him wanted to show him some love that we you know we've we've talked about it a couple of times over the years but yeah you know like this is i mean dude so, come on yeah pretty insane um you can't complain about anything i know i know just think about him and yeah. you're just like all right like uh this dude's Devin. 
Do you know Devin, the I know, scorpion I'm, hunter? Oh, I know Devin. All right. Tell he, used us to be, he used to be in a question. Uh, what is it? The I should know this. I'm from fucking Kentucky. <laughs> When you a ride horse? the horses, uh, equestrian. Yeah, yeah, that was his okay. old Instagram bio. He used to ride horses, I think. Dennis the equestrian, De- Devin. or De- Devin the equestrian. Yeah, he's funny. He's now sick. he's a scorpion. <laughs> Outrageous. <laughs> Four eyes. <laughs> 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 talking to you? <laughs> Probably. He's talking to you. Wow. Yeah. He's really mad you outed him for the equestrian thing. Yeah. Yeah. So. He's funny. Um, but yeah, he's uh, he's doing a bunch of bar spins. Pretty funny. So The Dragon, Dragon Slayer one's Dragon insane. Oh, wow. Dragon is legend. Okay. There you go. <laughs> yeah, he's been getting at it. He's definitely got some some weird ass ones in there. But until he doesn't want to anymore. Yeah, the office talking about like Oh, hey, Donald. So random. Underhand. Oh, did he grab the center and yeah, spin it? Yeah, Jeep driver. That's wild. A Jeep driver. Is that an actual thing? Yeah, it's called the Jeep driver when you like bar, you're like you about to bar, but then you hold the crossbar and then spin it. <laughs> Can you do this? <laughs> uh, I have not. Wait, no, I've tried. It's just awkward because you're like rotating with your only hand. Yeah. So shout out to uh, Devin the Equestrian. Oh, got that one already. Uh, uh, spot. Oh. I don't is, know. Is that, is that is that AI? Is that uh, in here? It, <laughs> it could might, be. It might be in here. I don't know. I haven't seen yeah. the whole thing yet. The one thing about the spot book too is that on the description, at least on maybe on the Instagram, it like literally they have to say like address is not included. Oh, it says it right um, on the, right on the front. Page. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like yeah, yeah. You're getting you're not getting. Any that's not what you're paying for. Hey, I uh, mean, part is? of the fun is trying to look for any clues. I mean, obviously, most of these, this is trees and houses, but sometimes there's little things, you, you, Yeah. you know, and it's really People fun. The detective work is really yeah. fun, especially when it works out. Yeah. You're like, yeah. I fucking figured it out. Where's this one at, Jeff? Uh, can't tell you. Yeah. There's like a, there's like an AI thing I found on the internet that'll like investigate a photo for you. So it'd be like, oh, this kind of architecture is normally in this area and this type of vegetation is normally in this area. And oh. it'll try to put you closer to, I've tried it for a few spots and it like kind of works, but it's still like newer yeah. thing. This one's behind Walgreens. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that would be scary. But it'd be like, th- this is like uh, indicative of like a California area or something okay. or like yeah. San Diego oh. County or like this plant only grows in Sacramento or something. Mm. So yeah. it's pretty cool. This plant only grows behind Walgreens. Yeah. <laughs> Aisle 12. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, that was, I mean, look at that fucking, st- I don't know what that is for. Well, I assume water. Water. Uh, I, it, I just, I, super, want, I would love to cool. ride that. Yeah, it's yeah. amazing. It's probably in Spain or Portugal. Looking at the rocks, that, uh, <laughs> like the bridge, like the cobblestone rocks, mm-hmm. that, that would be my Who needs AI yeah. when you have yeah. Jeff? Yeah. Yeah. It definitely looks like old European architecture. It's called ZI. ZI. <laughs> yeah. Zelensky. <laughs> 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 Watch, you still we find out it's like New Hampshire and I'm like, oh, damn it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's, 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 <laughs> it's the other side of home app. <laughs> <laughs> um, do you still have a Thomas Brothers guy? Do you still have I have, I have the, mine, yeah. I saw, I, for no reason, just yeah. for like yeah, two sakes. That'd be yeah. a cool book. Like, Thomas guy? Put it into something like this. Oh, yeah, right. Maybe. All the, yeah. all the call, notes, it map, yeah. call it map yeah. scans. Map scans. Yeah. Oh, I, I like that. You're so good with names. <laughs> you're so good with map scan. That's good. <clears throat> yeah, this is wild. Oh. Insane. <laughs> wow. What's the sound? Oh. <laughs> it's going to... Could be loud. 
<laughs> Dick. <laughs> that's probably the, probably the, probably the I film, mean, that's, right? yeah, yeah, it's gotta be the hypes. That's your homies being hyped for you. Yeah. <laughs> that's amazing. <laughs> What's that? It's literally Canta, Catanzariti. Cantazariti? I never tried to say that. Ricky. that ten times fast. Can of spaghetti. Yeah. Um, I thought Zelensky was hard to say. Right? Dude. Just everything he does. Yeah. Ice. You can go down his Instagram page and just watch his videos forever. They're all technical and done really well. It yeah. was the Ice Hard 3 manual. It's outrageous. Yeah, yeah it's insane. <laughs> sure. <laughs> um... Big transfer. Yeah. Oh, I saw this. This is. <laughs> it was. I couldn't think of any other caption. Big transfer. No, that's good. Oh, oh, man. Perfect. So good. In shorts. This guy feel good. Yeah. Whoa. Dude. <laughs> guy high is off the ground. Those skate parks look incredible. Yeah. Is that right. Adrenaline Alley? Yeah. The one that Tom rides. Oh God, this clip is. <sighs> yeah. yeah. Opposite 180. You can finish your thought though, huh? but. But yeah, just they, they're just made just for flow. You know, it's like mm-hmm. it makes perfect sense. Like, or is this made for Tom? It just doesn't yeah. exist. It, that doesn't exist in America. Yeah, like those are yeah. enough here. Like wood covered, like from end to end, the entire park is like the flat bottom is wood, yeah. and it's just like some crazy bowl. Wood and that, adrenaline. I went there. It's like seven skate parks in one. Really? Yeah. It, where it was like I, I went in a different area and I was like, I thought this was a different skate park. Like, I thought I've seen them ride this before and I thought it was somewhere else. Like, no, it's all the same skate park. Wow. They That's have crazy. All these different courses, box jump rooms and lines. It's like rays, but like, honestly, better. Yeah. You know? Mm-hmm. So, pretty crazy. Um, yeah. <laughs> Fucking Colin, man. <laughs> so switch, amazing. Switch 180, switch grip. I think that's not hard enough. Yeah. <laughs> Dude. I mean, he is, like, the next level grind god. You know what I mean? Like, Yeah, his, his trick selection is always at his so tri- insane. His trick, trick setup track record, the things he's done, Yeah, you know, like, the lateral grind combos and stuff, yeah. man. Yeah, that um, from the animal video, Feeble 180, Shaky Pegs Bar. Unbelievable. Yeah. It, untouchable and then or you know or just do a fakie hop <laughs> yeah, yeah or just, just one hop. of the biggest yeah, fakie hops hop. um had to be the most young viewed K-Rock. BMX clip in 2023 should be <laughs> had, had to have been oh yeah yeah you're talking about Colin yeah, yeah. the fakie hop yeah. yeah um this clip got a lot of views too for I mean it got a bunch on ours I think even went crazier on K-Rob's oh yeah it's so impressive understandably so yeah. That's amazing. It He didn't even take it easy. <laughs> he's, not <laughs> take, he's not taking it easy. It looks like it's a really bad idea. Like, it looks like it's a, lo- a long and low double flip. Well, also, the run-up sucked. Like, it, it's like, like a, it looks like yeah, it sucks. Yeah. Yeah. It um, looks like a Nastasio, you know, like a Nastasio long and low flip, <laughs> but it's two of them. Yeah, he does have a Nastasio. Well, you know, it's kid energy. He's really good. And, I mean, it's... K Rob's son, you know? It's like yeah. yeah, he had the ones uh, it, that it wasn't first try, Ooh, too. Okay. Yeah, he had the crashes yeah. in there somewhere. Where is it? Was that during like a jam yeah. or something? Uh, I don't know. Yeah, 182,000 people if like Chris it. Chris Childs filmed it. If Chris Childs is filming you, you got to do something really cool. That's true. That is true. Um, Maybe the next one? Yeah, I think this is a... It's probably like, Chris, watch this. No, this isn't <laughs> it, but... Oh, Jesus. oh shit. Fine, he's, though. He even yeah, he's so good. I guess we wanted to see a crash clip, right? Damn. That looks real fun, that box thing. Yeah. That, that, is it? that frame looks crazy. That just the, Oh, yeah, um, him eating... Mm. No, the, um, the holding image... Just the way his bike is like downside like that. It looks sick. I feel like I saw. Oh yeah, there we go. Oh shit. Jesus. 
on the bum. He was around every time. Yeah, he's, yeah. Laying, he's like kind of getting like rubber side down, and then just you hear the sound of the tires every time he goes. To yeah, dude, what a savage! Cool yeah. kid too, for sure. I met him at those uh, games of bike thing. Oh yeah, nicest dude. And then uh, oh yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> one, more, one more, one yeah. more. Show it a little love. So. Perfect setup. That looks like so much fun. Yeah. The way the sunglasses and like the, the the kit he's wearing, he looks like the guys who are like in the Arctic where it's really cold but yeah. bright. Yeah, so yeah. Wearing like he'd have some crazy gloves on, but I don't know. It, it looks like he's like going to the liquor store and he found a sick setup or something. Yeah. Like. <laughs> It's like he's like have to go shovel his car that's covered in snow. Or yeah. Like, <laughs> yeah. Go if he out. rode by, I wouldn't think he was a shredder like that. Yeah. I was like, oh, it's some random dude. Never judge a book by his cover, right? True. Oh yeah, that look at true. this bar fakey. Boop. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That was cool. Like how it was yeah. pulled back. It was like, no, not a lot of options for pullback tricks at skate parks and stuff these days. It's like, cool. See him get that. The highly neglected side of the Lake Havasu Park. It is fun though. That park looks fun. Yeah. I've never been there. I've never been to Lake Havasu. I've seen that rail. But I remember when you went there, Ryan, on a trip, everyone was telling you, go to skate park, go to skate yeah. park. And you're trying to ride and the city got this. I that. wrote the article about <laughs> yeah. it, and then the city actually even, like hit up ride and was like bummed about it. Oh, really? Or hit me up directly Damn. at the I, at ride. I didn't, yeah. I didn't know about that. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, well. I don't want to tell you. That was my experience. <laughs> <laughs> um, Did you go to the skate park? Yeah, no, it, it was insane. <laughs> it was insane. Everywhere we went, we go right, and then somebody just people would be like a block away and walk up and be like, "Hey, you know there's a skate park, right?" I'm like, yes, we do. Like, we've been there. It was yes. five days of just getting yelled at by people. It That's was. Insane. It was insane. It was crazy. It was. I mean, you're used to getting yelled at. It was extra. But was did like, you go to the skate park? We did one time. <laughs> yeah. Did you grind the rail on the way in? The El Toro rail. The blue one, yeah. Yeah, it's huge. Yeah. But you grinded it. No, I didn't. Oh, okay. <laughs> no, I, thought you said, I thought you said, yeah. No. no. Uh, and there he is, yeah. Video game. Boop. Jeez. <laughs> oh, you want more? Still got oh. it. He's going. Oh. He's still going. <laughs> I, don't, I don't understand how you fit the bar in right here. Boop. Yeah. Then again. And out. And in. And out. Yeah. And in. So cool. Yeah. Pretty insane. Bike control level M. six billion. Rail, rail, rail. Rail, rail, rail. Oh, yeah. This kid was at BMX Day in San Diego. Yeah, he was. Yeah. Yeah. I saw yeah, he did the kink rail, like a little, a little, little loose on it. And I was and then I saw <laughs> this. And I was like, I just said I could do it. Yeah, yeah. yeah I was this is awesome. To too. He just fired this out. Good for him. Yeah. So I guess uh, I guess uh, Mike Taylor Jersey uh, did it back in the day too. So a little homage to him. It's hard to, you know, this day and age, it's hard to know that. Yeah, yeah you can't shouldn't, kids. shouldn't try it anyways. But yeah, still, I mean, it's still he, sick. yeah, I think about that often. Like nowadays, there's just huge influx of new content coming out every single day. It's hard mm-hmm. to keep up. No one's going back in time to research yeah. stuff. Like, yeah. I did when I was a kid because you got like a couple magazines a month and maybe a couple of full length videos, but that was it. So you go through all that and you're like burnt out, you're at it, you, you find old stuff, you know? Yeah. No, one, no one does that anymore. Yeah. You can't and I feel, keep, like, keep up. I feel like a lot of this stuff ends up being word of mouth, like, oh, like uh, somebody did this back in the day or whatever. Uh, but yeah, you're not seeing much. Nobody's digging out props, you know? Yeah. I don't think it, yeah. yeah. I don't think it matters unless you're on a certain level. You know, like, I would go out and do something that somebody else was, uh, I, if I wanted to do it. Yeah, like, totally. Because yeah. I don't care. I don't, I'm not trying to do anything. But if you're, like, a top-level pro dude and somebody's already done something, you should probably pass on it. You know? But, I don't know. I also heard that it doesn't even matter in skateboarding anymore. That's interesting. Yeah. yeah. Well, it's funny to think about, like, with, like, if you go to trails and someone might film a table over a jump. Yeah. Other people yeah. are going to go there and table <laughs> to say jump and film yeah. it. Yeah. It's not a big deal. I think of street riding because this spot is so un- each spot is so unique, so it it just holds a different level well, of like. You've, you've seen this Instagram account, right? Yeah. Same spot, same same angle. Oh, but I it's. I wasn't aware of this. <laughs> yeah. This could be a triple. 
So there's yeah. literally three people did the same same spot and filmed it, the, the fish eye at the bottom of the stairs. It's funny, but the same angle thing, because there's definitely times when I go somewhere to film something, even though I filmed there before, and I'm like, I want to film it differently, yeah, but, you, but you, you can't because you're going to like sacrifice showing something important. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. yeah. And you're pigeonholed. Like, this is the only way to film it and do everything justice. Best angle's already been found. Yeah, and, yeah. and you're just like, but then it's once in a while, I mean, I look, at, I, look at these two though. Look at them. I'm like, they're, like identical? They're, they're identical. <laughs> Married or filmed by the same person, and he's like, "Who forgot they went there and filmed it?" <laughs> it's insane. I mean, it it, it's crazy that it's on that on that level in so many different ways. I wonder if you can do the same thing in BMX. I'm, I'm sure to a degree, but be some hunting going on. That was insane. That was <laughs> it's crazy it's the same trick <laughs> same I just want to watch some yeah. skateboarding yeah. now yeah it yeah, reminds me about funny. that spot I want to go back to that I don't know I forgot about that one which one the, the rock gap oh it's like it's like East LA I hey, shot rock the, like the, the, opposite with it for like wait a it says same same music oh <laughs> he almost kicked that guy though no way all right spot jacking yeah song pretty jacking. funny pretty funny so but um anything anything else i missed i don't know should we talk about i feel like we're gonna be dropping hopefully i always think tomorrow but it's friday is. but we're dropping your video part on friday yes you want to talk to us about that you can uh, say no <laughs> what do you think <laughs> about talking about it yeah or are we dropping it Oh no, we're dropping it. (laughs) 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 I mean, yeah, B and Z have been filming for a little bit, probably around this time last year, I think. Um, My first summer out of high school, so had nothing else to do for the. Basically, I do school online, Uh so I've just been like bit bopping around, taking trips to California. B and Z have been stacking some pretty nice footage. The video part is awesome. And yeah. It's finally together it's pretty be pretty, com- pretty comprehensive too you got lots of street riding in there you got uh it shows how good you are on ramps too kind of like piled it all in yeah. there thank yeah, you i love it it's good yeah it was a fun it was always a blast filming and riding with z and being in california and getting away from the kentucky i'll tell you <laughs> <laughs> away from the kentucky it's been interesting because um from my perspective you know when you're at a point you're riding where um you have enough experience and skill and confidence to where like new things come to you pretty easily mm-hmm. and you can go somewhere and be like i can do this like i think she's at that point um so we you know I'm like i know the perfect thing for this or this and we go there and, and like i could tell she's never done anything like this before yeah but i know she can do it mm-hmm. so i'm like and so you know it's interesting seeing her like figure it out like at first like not really knowing how to do it at all, but slowly, like quickly, building up to it, and and is filming it. Yeah. yeah. So it's almost yeah. like we've like filmed you learning stuff. You know. Yeah, basically. Yeah. That's that's cool, and it's like that's um, you know California spots and probably are a lot different from what you have yeah. back home. So then it's like you don't have that opportunity to like, you know, sometimes spots just ask for stuff, and it's yeah. stuff that yeah. you haven't done before. So that's that's awesome. That's that's super cool. Yeah, and we just kind of plan out the day as it goes like he'll just send me a huge folder some random day on the phone like here's some spots i found and it's just like 28 photos of just craziness and, and jeff's like, got oh. folders <laughs> and we just kind of go through them and we're like okay let's just see what's going on oh and yeah when you when you're when you were filming for this video what were you more stoked to get out uh the street riding or the ramp stuff um i don't really ride as much street as i usually do here at home it's just uh harder to get out sometimes and it's just kind of easier staying at home ground but I'm definitely really stoked on the street stuff like so, of course like california has like amazing spots so yeah. it's just like there's just unicorn spots everywhere like we went to a spot the other day that like we thought we were going to get kicked out of like five minutes in we ended up getting like a pretty sick clip like mm-hmm. it's just like nice. you never know what the day is going to hold yeah so sometimes you just kick out get kicked out all yeah. day yeah. 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 So. yeah. It is what it is. That is, that is the way it goes. <laughs> yeah. Um, well, we are, I'm, I'm hoping that I will, I feel like I have a curse of saying that I'm going to, this will drop on the first, which is tomorrow, but we'll see. 
So, and then, but no matter what, your video is either dropping on Friday or it's already out. Yeah. So, um, yeah. look for that. I think we're, we're hosting it. So, it'll be yep. on our channel. And then, uh, and then make sure what's your Instagram? Uh, BK Hedrick. So, just B K A Y H E D R I C K. All right. I'll, hold, I'll pull it up just in case <laughs> people can't actually spell. When you go to type it, a lot of times, B Chinsky comes up. Yeah. Yeah. True. Understandably so. Yeah. Um, and <laughs> then uh, what else is in the works for GT? Should we talk about, I feel like the Julian documentary is on the horizon. It is. Nothing. It's got pushed back again um, due to some unforeseen circumstances. Um, but surprise sometime the new year. Mm-hmm. Um, oh, so not, it did get pushed back. Yeah. Oh, okay. All right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, well, that's a bummer because I was looking forward to seeing that. But I think it's like, it's just... Stu being such storyteller that he is, and it being such well, it's close to him obviously because him and Julian are great friends. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And then there's just so many pieces to it, um, and obviously just day to day, Stu gets pulled in different directions with like other jobs that are like quicker turnaround things. Yeah. So you know when you have like these big projects, you you always kind of like, all right, back burner. I'm gonna do this real quick, come back to it. Yeah. And then, um, but yeah, it's it's coming along but not 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 as soon as we thought but okay i thought it was like next month it, it was going to be yeah. Yeah. yeah but honestly that was also still being kind of rushed um and then obviously we're gonna hit, we're gonna hit hurdles with like music clearance and stuff i'm sure and that's gonna probably be a nightmare yeah yeah um, it's like keep telling Stu, i'm like just let me know what you can help with like oh but you know as it goes yeah totally. way of the world yeah uh, it'll anything, be worth the wait though anything else going on when are you going to come do the podcast i was going to ask that too yeah, yeah uh, i'm down um i mean i'm actually i don't have a whole lot like the end of this month was like mason and bethany were here but that's that's kind of winding down so yeah i'm looking forward to it actually i can come down whenever pretty much a couple weeks maybe yeah yeah all right cool and the next uh next silence coming out pretty soon or the photo deadline is is today the 31st i think it's today it's the photo oh, okay. line so um paul turns around pretty quickly obviously yep. and there's not you know a whole lot to it as far as like the layout goes um but i don't know when it's going to be out out okay but soon soon yeah soon so only two a year or so oh only two a year yeah oh sometimes like three or four that's what i was thinking too yeah yeah all right. I forget what I forget what Slack Slack's frequency is, but yeah, silence one is per two week. a year. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, one a week. Yeah. No, it's like the opposite. It's it's yeah. not Slack. It's not Slack. Yeah. Yeah. It's yeah. One a week. Yeah. yeah. It turns them it turns them out. Um, well, I think that'll do it for the month of July. Thank you to Jeff. Thank you to Bethany. Thank you to Albert. Shout out to Dale. Shout out to Source. Shout out to the members. Shout out to Dennis for not coming. Uh, shout out to my dogs. For yes. not barging into the room and for for loving Bethany. Yes. <laughs> no, no animal interruptions. Yeah. I was definitely yeah. hoping to pet a cat. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and that's it for now. We have the podcast Project Spoke coming. Jeff Z podcast on the horizon. Larry Edgar, Nigel, oh, T J nice. Lavin are all. That's a in lot. Some form <laughs> of happening in the near future so um we got we got so we took a little sabbatical there for for travel and bmx day stuff but we're not we're not we we haven't quit i promise so (laughs) those are some heavy hitters yeah oh um we didn't do hotline yeah i was about to say i didn't do hotline but up to you guys what's hotline oh let's see what's on there we get calls in from people oh that's cool yeah Yeah. i knew that sorry yeah you're good yeah um we'll we'll play it don't don't read it trying to plan out a trip down to California in Canada's winter to escape the snow and I was wondering what would you guys' favorite uh, dirt jump spots in California be or in even in the states really that's rideable kind of all year round sweet thanks cool um, Jeff, you are a huge dirt guy. <laughs> Did he say California or U.S.? He said he said California first, but then uh, he was he kind of opened it up at the end. He so. did, yeah. yeah. I was like, oh, now you're you're uh, 
You're oh, no balance routines. We've horizons. already lost a computer to beer. Oh yeah. All right. I had. I had <laughs> it, was it was. It was balancing over here. All right. <laughs> but I'll leave it alone. Um, um, I got nothing for dirt jumps. I mean, down here. I mean, at least in San Diego, we do have a few sets of trails. I, I don't know if I'm supposed to like put them out there, but mm-hmm. we have, we do have the public sets of trails. So we have the the Sweetwater Park down here, which is kind of it. Just f- was super fun, but it is what it is. Jeff, I'm gonna freak out. Fair enough. Fair <laughs> enough. <laughs> and then, uh, and then we have a park up in the San Marcos area, Bradley, that just opened up. That is more, even crazier. Um, and then, uh, as far as you know, trails are pretty locked down in California. I mean, there's there's backyards trails. There's trails that I probably shouldn't say, but yeah, um, there's one that comes to mind for me. But same thing, I don't. Yeah, so it's a little bit hard. It's a tough, here, tough one in a public the one, forum. The spot that I'm thinking of. I've learned recently, I went there with Mason, uh-huh. and he, he's like the last guy there. He's the only person there running it. Yeah. And he I mean, works. You could say, you're talking about uh, 420 trails? Yeah. Yeah, okay. And yeah. He, he works like right behind the trails. He even goes to the trails on his lunch break. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, he's the Dedication. only person. He rides by himself. Yeah. And his trails are gnarly. They're crazy. Yeah. 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 What's his name? Keith. Keith, yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. Um, yeah, so it's so you get he, stuff he, like that. So we're not allowed to like yeah put stuff out there. But the the good thing is you come and you go to a couple of parks. Go to if you're in you know just San Diego for example. You go to OB various times. You're gonna bump into people. You go to Claremont. You're gonna various times, and you just ask people where trails are. And when you're when you're here, people will say it, but we can't say it on the podcast. Yeah. So, mm-hmm. um, but if you need to at least like filter is this person like a kook or are they cool yeah, or yeah cool you know it's obviously just. I don't, you know, want to direct someone to someone's, you know, blood, sweat, and tears, and they turn out to be like a total jerk. And you're just like, sorry. This one's this one's going to be interesting. Yo, Fudger, I know you got caller ID and shit, and you can find out what number this is. But man, you need to hit me up, dude, because we got to talk about some stuff. <laughs> hey, man, find out what this number is. I don't want to put it on here because this place gets aired or something like that. But <laughs> track this down. I know you got the means to do it. Get a hold of me, man. Let me know. Knickknack. Later. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna have to figure out who that is. I do have the phone number. So, what the hell was that? And then uh, maybe one more. Wow, that was interesting. Yeah. And then a nothing and a nothing burger. So let's see what we got. I know that's to Dennis. So we'll save that one. But yeah, that's it. We'll keep it keep it chill. I did one little <laughs> yeah. Instagram post, so it is what it is. So. Yeah, do you yeah. remember but. back in the ride days when like um. There was like one guy from NorCal was pretty salty. Like, oh, he's like a solid guy. Mm-hmm. He was like, not. Are you gonna get me in trouble here? But he would like <laughs> he would he. It wasn't like Aaron Huff or anyone. Yeah, yeah, he yeah. Was a, yeah. Affiliated with solid. You talking about Brent? Maybe it was Brent. Yeah. But, um, but he would. I forget if it was like emailing or writing. But he was like he or drunk calls. But he was like. So he was mad about something. Oh yeah, I but mean that guy. A lot of that, that over the years. That guy kind of reminded me of that. Yeah, yeah. Brent, Brent, Brent's a cool dude. So I'm not, I'm not thinking. I can't really think of anything in particular. But I mean, there's been some crazy ones over the years. Like, I've shot photos of Brent, and he, I mean, he, 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 he crushed it. But yeah, I've never even said this like publicly. But like Hino called me like all crazy. Remember in Long Beach and stuff where. It, you know, like there's crazy shit over the years. I know we get emotionally charged. Yeah, times, so sure. it was like it was like hurt my feelings. <laughs> you know, like it was brutal because I always looked up to Hino and stuff, and yeah. we it was all good after yeah. you know after a while. It was just a moment in time, but it was I, like you became as you as you represented Ride. It was like you would become the focus of like certain charged emotions of why things didn't work and whatever yeah. for whatever reason and every decision i feel like we made we generally had like a, a reason in the moment mm-hmm. so but it's hard to sometimes the way Heino would speak just the way he would pronunciate words it carried a lot of weight in one direction more than another because yeah. he's just like what the fuck guy <laughs> so it's like oh man what did i do and it's just like Oh, I made a wrong turn. Like, yeah. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> Good. Yeah. 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 So there's some crazy ones, but we'll save that for for the podcast with you. I do. Um, if when we do the podcast, I want to send you some questions like a week beforehand, and and like you know because I feel like you do a podcast and you're like, oh, what's like the craziest photo you ever shot? Oh, but you're yeah. on the spot. That's when you're so on the hard. spot, it's hard. Yeah, so yeah, I send totally. you that stuff like a week beforehand, and and like have you really kind of lament about those those have that stuff laid out so yeah, you can really like great. go into detail on that so yeah because um, that would definitely be on the spot and then you, you end up like 
looking back, oh, I should have said this. Yeah, this that. guy. Yeah, this still happened, but it'll at least it'll be a little more prepared. So, um, all right, that's it. We kind of dragged it on, and then uh, that's it. We're going bye. 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 Say it in say it in two different languages, three different languages. Adios. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's all I want. Choose. Au revoir. Uh -huh. Thank you, thank you, Marcus Wilkie, for teaching me that yesterday. Choose. Oh, did you see Marcus yesterday? Yeah, he was staying here. Oh, really? He slept right here. No kidding. Yeah. <laughs> I feel bad. He. Uh, oh, it's so weird talking now with the headphones off. Oh, I know. So, right, so yeah.